live, I think. If you are hearing this, then I'm just gonna do a quick sound check. Let me try one more time and can I hear the sound of my own voice? Okay, All right, I think that's it. Okay, sweet, we are live. Uh, hi everybody, hey folks, again, it's uh, it's your boy AA. Today we're revisiting RimWorld, everyone's favorite colony management game, uh, to embark on the, ch on the Tile Man challenge once again. I'm gonna keep the game paused for a few minutes while I explain the challenge since this is actually rather difficult. Uh, it is one of the more challenging runs out there in RimWorld. Um, but yeah, a challenge that I've kind of fallen in love with. Uh, like I said, yeah, we're probably going to die. Um, but yeah, adapted from the Tileman challenge from Settled's Old School RuneScape. Also, hello to everybody in chat. Uh, haven't been on YouTube in a while. I've just been preparing a lot of content in the background. Uh, mostly just working with editors and kind of getting used to that, so it... Kind of means we haven't released anything in a while, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to come back to YouTube. I've been hanging out a lot on Twitch. Uh, if you do want to see the VODs, I've been uploading those. Those are on the VOD channel. Um, yeah, actually, a couple of people in chat had mentioned that. Yeah, like, we have been making stuff, just, you know, not like all the kind of try-hard edit stuff that I make. Um, but yeah, that stuff is coming together in the background, and it's been a lot of fun. Anyway, um, wanted to do something, like, really fun today, but, uh, yeah, this was adapted to another YouTuber's challenge called, uh, One Hunchman, uh, which I don't know where that name comes from, but yeah, One Hunchman, uh, who did this run in RimWorld, and I've linked it below, so you should really go check out his challenge. Also, uh, Artsio, thank you very much for the 10 PLN, appreciate you. Thank you very much. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Um, is this not live? No, I've actually pre-recorded all of this, and I, I am just guessing at what you might be asking in chat right now. I did a really good job. Um, but yeah, okay, so here is the premise. So basically, just to intro much of what's going on here, uh, we have the Colony XP tab, which was made uh, for One Hunch Man's playthrough, and basically just shows us how much experience we've got. We start with zero XP. Uh, I have created my own custom... Colonists, let's just let him land. This is Tile Man. First name Tile, last name Man. Tile Man. He's slightly OP, uh, although he has no skills, so that is kind of challenging to begin with. He is iron willed and industrious, as is kind of necessary for this run. Although, what else? What, what else were his drawbacks? He really doesn't have that many drawbacks. Really, the cooking lack of skill may get us killed, or more likely just throwing up everywhere. Other than that, other than that, I would just say, yeah, colony XP tab. Uh, so the colonists starting with nothing. Yeah, pretty much we are just sowing and then de-sowing plants. So how do you get skill? Because our limited area right now, I mean, we need one tile to start in. So we're beginning in this. This is literally all the area we can walk around in. We have one tile and zero XP. How? Will we unlock the first tile? Happy birthday. Thank you very much. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday for another, like, two and a half months. But uh, I do appreciate the birthday wishes in advance. Thank you. Um, uh, let me see. Yes, I will list my Warhammer 40k mods below so that everyone can uh, play along at home when they're playing Total Warhammer. Um, Total Warhammer. Or actually, I guess Warhammer Dawn of War would be more accurate. Let's go ahead and have him sow some rice plants in the ground. He is beginning to cut the grass when I, uh, or the grass. When I play tested this, he actually refused to do this because he was um, like he was right next to a tree and he couldn't get out of the area, so I had to make sure that the spawn had no trees. Thank you very much for the happy birthday wishes. Appreciated. Ah, uh, eventually I will get older. It is not today though. Uh, there, though there is like a, a large contingent of people who now enjoy wishing me happy birthday to confuse other people. So I feel like a phony. Um, and I guess, I guess I just am. So we've unlocked two tiles, so another 100 XP. We're just going to have him go ahead and destroy uh, the thing that he just planted, though. Unfortunately, he doesn't get any experience for this. But now, look, we can unlock two more tiles. Isn't this very, very exciting? Oh my gosh. So we want to make our way to food as soon as possible, but we also want to make sure that we don't botch the harvest. So let's go ahead and... Like, we'll take the rice plant. Ah, uh, thank you for all the congratulatory messages. I appre... God, you guys are so... Just genuinely, like, it is a pleasure. It isn't my birthday, though. 
<laughs> Man, people coming in are going to be so confused. It is not my birthday. Thank you for the happy unbirthday wishes. You could wish Tile Man a happy birthday. He's 34. He's been around for 230 uh, chronological years. I guess that's if we're counting like times that he's been around the sun. But biologically, look, he's about to be, he's closer to his birthday than me. You can, I will redirect your uh, happy birthday messages to Tile Man. Thank you so much. The trees would be easy experience. That's true. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll get to those. I don't want to botch too many. Actually, the trees, we can't really botch the harvest at all. So that is valid. Um, let's go ahead and see, though. Now we're at 500 XP. So we already have many, many more tiles to unlock. Monsters, monster kill. Thank you very much for the 20 MX. $20 MX. Happy not birthday. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Please, do, please don't put yourself in any financial need. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. Oh my god, the internet is such a confusing place. This is perhaps more disorienting than the time that I streamed from atop that crane for that, for that Swedish gaming company. <laughs> that was probably the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. I've never been up that high, let alone on a crane. Um... But yeah, I am unfortunately in my house today, um, which is really a disappointment. Um, let's see. Okay, so we've got two tiles unlocked, so we can unlock another six. A quick way to see how many tiles we've unlocked is to just clear, because that shows us pre-counted over three, because it is going to get kind of out of hand. Um, but yeah, this is going to be for an upcoming video, so I just wanted to put together a practice run and show you that I'm actually good at the game. I don't just... I mean, I'm really not, but two... Three, four, five, and six. Let's start making our way over to this berry bush because Tile Man's needs are growing. Also, Thermite Channel, thank you very much for the channel membership. Appreciate you. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Um, let's go ahead and move our way upward to the north. Here we are. In the words of Michael Scott, um, in the words of Abraham Lincoln, I will attack you with the north. Can you grow on adjacent tiles from your position? No, uh, that's actually not allowed in the game, and it would be too confusing to implement it. How does XP work? Can you use it for anything other than tiles? Uh, I think no, just tiles. I'm I, like, otherwise the game is basically like allowed. We can do whatever we need to in the game. However, just the tiles are the limitation. The one dangerous event that will befall us soon, though, is the attack of a squirrel. So that's what I'm kind of repairing for. Um, or perhaps like a, an enraged guinea pig. Uh, this would be rather unfortunate for our fellowship. So I'm going to go ahead and just like try to get into some sort of cover. Maybe we'll try to live in this tomb in the, over the next few days. Looks like we need to patch up the walls a little bit, but that seems like an acceptable place to live. Otherwise, um, yeah, just enclosing ourselves and then preparing for some type of raid is probably going to be, the, like, the most, uh, dangerous, dangerous part of our task right here. Of our embarkment. <laughs> embarkment. Yes. All right. 1,400 XP, so that means we, we should have 15 tiles unlocked, so if we... Go ahead. I don't know why. Hang on a second. Nine. So I can unlock another six. We can almost make our way to the berry bush, which is good because our food needs are dropping. I did start with my need bars fully filled just because I feel like you can't really do very much with this with this challenge if you don't start like that. So I just threw myself a bone that way. Otherwise, we're playing on... Bru um, What is it? Blood and Dust is our difficulty. We've got another one, two, three, four, five, six. Did I unlock one extra tile for myself? I have to go back and... I demand a recount. Demand a recount right now. I don't know what it is. YouTube streaming. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch, but the, there's something about the immutability of YouTube streaming where if you say something like... Horrible, it just stays up there forever. And Twitch, I can just be like, oh, I will just conveniently edit that out later. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't say things that are as horrible as I usually do. Um, because it is kind of like the Wild West over there. <laughs> there is a difference 
Maybe I'll just, what's something controversial to say? Pie over cake. Pie over cake. Also, welcome into the stream, everybody. Oh, and I just missed, um, hang on a second. Caged Souls, thank you very much for the channel membership. Appreciate you. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. I don't know why my thing doesn't let me, like, click out of that. Oh, well, I'll just leave it there as it is. Sorry, I keep, like, tabbing over from the game. I'm going to do it one more time right now. Let me just go ahead and change the game options with that. Uh, yeah, run in background so we don't get any, like, anything too fishy happening. But, yeah, there we go. Sweet. Ah. All right, so we've basically been lined, man. We haven't been playing RimWorld in a straight line, but maybe that, that'll be, like, the next stupid challenge that I embark upon because I'm... Really just running out of ideas here. I've, I've been running out of ideas for years, but I've just sort of been procrastinating with the same four or five things over and over again. Um, and somehow it is actually working quite splendidly. I think we have these tiles unlocked. This is 23 tiles, so that really means 2200 experience because we start off with one. So yeah, we've got that. So that's a legal placement. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Hope to me, me and Hazor do something together one day. Oh, we've been doing some stuff together. It's fantastic working with. Actually, we've been doing, uh... It's not really RimWorld. Now that you mention it, though, Hazor is... Hazor is a kindred spirit. And a lovely person. Um, but yeah, we should go play some multiplayer RimWorld. If he would assent to that. Although, I, I don't know. We, we just generally tend to bicker when we play together. Although, I kind of enjoy that about our relationship. Oh, wait a second. What are you attempting to do here? Okay, he is attempting a berry bus. Har bus. A berry bus. <laughs> He's attempting a berry bus. <laughs> no, unfortunately, that isn't a real thing. Um, okay, cool. We've got the grow zone here. whoops a daisy We've got to shrink this zone. He was trying to cut down the berry bush. That is, like, forbidden. Not allowed. Unacceptable. We will expand the zone, though, to start covering our way toward this other bush. Good thing I have prevented him from doing that, otherwise he would have destroyed his source of, of precious food, precious berries. Also, thank you very much for the $5 espresso. Have I thought about playing Dwarf Fortress on the main channel? Yes, I have. Um, Maybe if it had been like last December, I would have done it, uh, when the game was kind of like coming out with a big, big release. But I couldn't, like, figure out the game and figure out a way to film it in, like, quick enough timing in order to want to do it. If it gets an update, I'll definitely do it at some point. Um, also, too, like, just kind of to come full circle, this isn't really about, I guess, like, the edit. I've just kind of had, like, a dry spell with videos because I've been trying to get stuff ready for editors so that I can actually... Well, this is kind of more or less my idea that I had in the middle of the year. I was spending so much time, like, editing and just kind of in a chair... And, like, lots of computer time that I had to basically just, like, export out some of the work to editors. And it's actually given me a lot more energy for the gaming. Because I just fell a little bit out of love with gaming. I was spending so much time in front of a computer over the last few years. So, fortunately, I got, like, some good personal time. And, yeah, like, it took me a couple more months than I thought it would. Just because I had so many, uh, so many other, like, obligations and commitments that I kind of had to follow up on there. But, yeah, like... All that being said and done, yeah, like, we're in an awesome place right now. Like, I can basically do whatever I want, which is awesome. Hang on a second. We're going to go ahead and try to harvest this because we do have berry level 2. I have an uncovered groin. And I am developing hunger. Hmm. All right. When he goes to sleep, perhaps we can, like... Unlock some more tiles. We've got 3,400 tiles. He did successfully harvest these berries. That's actually a huge deal. Also, Little Dot playing. Thank you very much for the channel membership. Appreciate you. I, will, I could await the coming of the malnutrition, but I think I will allow him to have a pleasant life for now. He's still in a very good mood. We're, we're not going to be in any major danger for a while. I would say that... Like, we won't enter the danger zone, so to speak. <laughs> the danger zone. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and put down a sleeping spot. Probably, like, right about here. Because we want to make our way a little bit closer to this um, entry point into the cave. Uh, well, really, someone's just someone's tomb. 
We've got 3,400 experience. So how many tiles have we unlocked now? This is the one thing about this challenge is you have to kind of keep coming back and counting. So we can unlock another 12. So let's kind of make our way over here and over here. Because we need more food, but we also got to sleep. Um, mm. Oh, also you've discovered Nessess. Yes, Nessess is a fantastic game. We should go back and play some Nessess. I may even do a little bit of Nessess later. You may even see a Nessess video on the channel. How amazing would that be? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's actually the perfect number of tiles. Wow. Look at that. We will leave some of this rice planted here now. Like I need I need fertile soil in order to be able to harvest this, but it just doesn't look like we're going to get to any fertile soil anytime soon. Do you like it when I say fertile soil, or would you prefer that I say fertile soil? It's fertile. F-E-R-D-U-L. Fertile soil. Thank you, Jess. Appreciate the congratulatory messages on the berry. Yeah, there's like too much stuff to play. Anyway, I've had like a nice healthy balance of... Uh, like VOD channel kind of game enjoyment. I've even figured out a way to basically just take VODs. Because I like hanging out with you guys. It's fun to have... You people have wacky ideas, and you say bizarre things I would never expect. It, it's honestly one of the fun, like, probably one of the most fun parts of being a, a YouTuber, that you can just summon a community around you at any given moment. <laughs> and they say horrible things, and, like, hilarious things, and nice things, and things that you would never expect. Um, and yeah, like, uh, <laughs> what was I going to say after I called you all horrible people? Um, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I figured out how to make those into videos, and they're like, I don't know, it's just been fun that I can just basically narrate back over VODs. Three, four. Okay, so that is our total of 38 tiles. I think I may start to do some deconstruction here, because we're going to need the levels pretty fast. I could go ahead and take away these floors. I know that these floors are generally a good thing, but, 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 eventually they will not be a good thing. Cleaning the rock rubble. We don't want to waste your time with cleaning, though. Uh, one tile, man. Let's go ahead and... Mm, you'll be okay for tomorrow, but let's go ahead and get maybe... Like a door on this area. Yeah, we'll also get in perhaps some walls over here. Yeah, let's have some perhaps walls. Uh, what ideology are we running? We're not really running any ideology because I hate ideology. I don't like it all these years later. I think it was a good idea. I just, it never really works for me, unfortunately. I wish that I liked it. I wish that I had something nice to say because Tynan is such a nice boy and, you know, he has such amazing ideas, but I don't really like ideology, sadly, which I wish I did. And there really must be something wrong with me because I love Tynan. I love him so much in... Wait a second, I think I just unlocked more tiles as I was expounding upon my love for Tynan. Um, I do love... Well, I love his ideas, that is to say. Uh, 4,348 experience. Thank you for the very good... Birth <laughs> the very good birthday wishes. I will now claim this land as my own. Here we go. So now we, we're going to go ahead and claim this entire shack because... Like, fixing is actually a very, very good way to grind experience in construction. Uh, I will claim the tomb as my own. Like, maybe that's going to seem kind of morbid and misleading. Um, ideology just doesn't game, make it. Yeah, if you have, like, a big group of colonists, it could make it very fun. It can even be somewhat OP. Although, um, I don't know. I just like running one solo colonist who's, like, a guy on his own, kind of an ascetic. I feel like that's kind of Matt Damon the Martian. You know what I mean? We are requiring warm clothes already. It was 40 degrees Fahrenheit out here. I've put Celsius for those of you who aren't using freedom units. Um, this is actually rather unfortunate because there is basically no way of me getting coal, uh, warmer. And I am experiencing refrigeration right now. Uh, hopefully I will not experience massive hypothermia. I am in permanent summer. 
this would be a horrible way for the challenge to end. Oh, also, there's only one condition that I will cheat with. Um, if I freeze to death right here, that might be... Only because it would kind of, like, interfere with the playthrough in, like, a horrible web... If I basically get stricken with, like, plague or something like that, then I will end the story. Although I think this is not... This is not an acceptable opportunity to cheat, so I'm going to just, like, live with it. Um, yep. Okay, let's also just go ahead and see. 4,400 XP. Also, thank you very much for the two Australian, the Down Under Frog. Appreciate you. Challenge me to tame an animal. You know, ta animal taming, tanimal aiming is not really my forte. Um, I wish I could assuage, but I just don't think it would be the same. I think I've accidentally unlocked one extra tile, so I have 45 tiles unlocked. That means 4,400 XP. Nope, I do. I've unlocked it. And in fact, I can unlock it in another. I do require food, though. Although the temperature is rising again, I don't think I'm going to freeze to death. Also, Green Joker, thank you for the 50 uh, Swedish Kronos. Have I ever tried the wood challenge? Or are you only allowed to build with wood, craft with wood, and use only wood weapons? No, but I was going to try a dirt map only start. Actually, I like the wood idea. I'm going to write that down. Wood run in RimWorld. I kind of like that. I don't know, there's something about you, like, RimWorld gamers that's just wacky enough. Yeah. I don't know, the RimWorld community is probably, like, one of the comfiest communities to make videos for. People are so, like, welcoming in this game. Probably one of the the nicest games to make content on. Ooh, construction level one. We are going to need a lot of construction levels here. Uh, because we're going to need level three in order to create a, um... A whatchamacallit, a thing. A thing, thing, thing. What am I thinking of? Uh, a spike trap. We do need one spike trap to avoid most probable death. I'm thinking also, too, we should probably... We'll remove that floor. Let's go ahead and just try to build over this wall. Potentially, uh... Oh, we don't want to trap that guinea pig in here with us. But good, Tile Man is grinding out that XP. Uh, the grind set. The tile grind set. Yeah. Shady organ harvesting run attempted, but got all psycho pass. Only problem is, yeah, brawlers do hate every. You do get some fights breaking out because everyone gets so crazy in those super OP Rimworld colonies. The one where you like make everyone a cannibal. Okay, let's see if we have enough tiles now to unlock. I have forty-five, so that means really four hundred, four thousand four hundred XP use. So I can unlock another eight right now. I'm at fifty-two hundred. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, I just like barely miss it. But by the time he gets over there, he most probably will. Yeah, he's unlocked it now. Yeah, good. He unlocked it. Cool. So I've unlocked one more berry bush. I really can't fail this harvest. Otherwise, I will most probably die because I am starving right now. I may survive a little bit longer. My malnutrition is only trivial right now and my hypothermia is disappearing. What a great day on the rim. What a great day on the run. Also, Remote Toaster 74. Thank you very much for the $2. Appreciate you. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. And Mechanic with the 50 Canadian. Thank you very much. Wife and I enjoy your Rimworld and Zomboid content. There is actually another Zomboid video in the works. Thank you. I hope it's been helping you enjoy the game more in whatever way you found it. Really, that's all, that's all you can hope for, you know. Hmm. My berry skill grows along with my will to fight and live and go on another day. Methinks uh, we skip on this tile for right now. Let's just cancel this order. The order is canceled. We will build a copy in here once the mountain lion departs from my place of, of, uh, of living. Okay, so now we have an enclosed space around us. Look at us go. That's amazing. Uh, I'm thinking we want to just continue earning construction XP and then, like, you know, noom our way out the door and up toward these, uh, like, these berry bushes. I think that would probably be an acceptable path. Don't you think? Also, Rimworld is very fun to stream. I forgot how, how much I enjoyed, like the, like, the tension and the fear. Oh, gosh, wait a second. We've got a mountain lion hunting down 
uh, guinea pigs for us. Is it going to eat the entire guinea pig, though? Or will there be an opportunity to feast on the rest of its flesh? Unfortunately, there was no other flesh feasting opportunity. Also, Espresso, thank you very much for the channel membership. Will I be making a poop chamber? If we were to do Cities Skylines, well, the original Cities Skylines, yes. 4 a.m. here, down under Frog. Thank you very much for the two Australian. Yeah, get some sleep. You're in Australia. That's It's too late there. Will I try Amazing Cultivation Simulator? Generally speaking, I guess, like, the blanket answer to these questions is, um, like, yes. Most games, there is a plan to do them in time. Like, if not here, then on stream in some way. But, yeah. I don't know. I like to have my staple games that I come back to, like RimWorld, and then, you know, maybe make our way up. No real plans in the near term, but... Yeah, that's one I've had on my mind for a while. Lately, I've been into... The one game I've been looking into is Nessess, which if you like RimWorld, and if you like Terraria or something like that, you should really check out Nessess, too. It's a fantastic game. Um... Okay, we have 6,400 experience. This is actually a, a great opportunity. A great opportunity. But remember, the channel is about me. Not, not, uh... I mean, it, it's sort of about me. Anyway, 5,300. The, cha the channel is about me. Okay, so we have 50... What was it? 53 or 54? Hmm. 54. Okay, so that means we've unlocked 53... 53, and we go up to 65, so that means that we get 12 more tiles. This is actually a rather high number of tiles to select from. So I think if I go like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This gives us a copious number of options to select from. So now we can make our way up toward the trees. We don't really need to be getting all of this experience in construction, but it's a fantastic way to grind out our construction skill, and we're going to need it. Although he is now malnourished, so go ahead and harvest. Harvest, me boy. Harvest, tile man, me boy. I don't know why I'm talking like Mr. Krabs. Malnourished. Mr. Krabs overdoses on... <laughs> My buddy reminded me of that the other day. <laughs> Any challenges for casuals to the top off my head looking to get back uh, years up after getting burnt out on RimWorld? Also, you got to get uh, got me back into RimWorld years ago. Hey, Noel, thank you very much for the $5. And another successful berry harvest. Oh, my God. I might survive. There's just the absolute streamer luck in this stream. <laughs> Will I play Prison Architect? Maybe again sometime. I don't know. No real plans immediately. Yeah, I don't know, I guess just, like, long and short of it is pretty much, like, whatever you see on the channel is whatever I'll do. If I, if I end up doing it on a VOD, that's probably the way you'll see it first. If you see it on the VOD channel, then there's a good chance you'll see it for a video. I think that's probably a better answer. Yeah. Ah, I require warm clothes! Let's go ahead and enclose the roof. That might be a, a nice way to get this done. Man, this construction grind has really been the right way to play through this challenge. Gotta admit. You gotta say it. My food needs are improving, although I'm cold hungry. Yeah, it's really the cold that I didn't expect. 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and light a fire, Jack London style. To light a fire. Um, uh, 7,285 experience. So we've got, um, hmm, we could clear out 7,285, so that means we've got another seven tiles to unlock. Let's go ahead and try to unlock the rest of the area over here. And also, tile man, no sleeping. I'm going to go ahead and do this Mr. Samuel streamer style uh, work, work <laughs> deep into the night. I can unlock another, what, seven tiles now? The only thing that kind of stinks about this challenge is having to count out all of the tiles, but... I figured out a satisfactory way. It took me way longer to do it before. Okay, so that's another seven. Cool. So we can almost get the entire roof up. And he's still unlocking more. I think that's another two and three. Yeah, we gotta get a roof on our head before we collapse, you know? One, two, three. I found like I feel like the count. Like it's Sesame Street or something. No, enclose thyself, tile man. The weather is getting colder. I I do not I will not allow you to die of hypothermia here. Hang on a second. 
Yeah, build the roof. Build the roof over thyself. 7,600. Okay, I think that's enough to unlock the rest of them. Just this would be such a dumb way to die. One, two, yeah, I think that's, I believe that's exactly it. Let me just go ahead and double check. Make sure I'm not cheating. Uh, so I have unlocked, that's 77 there right now. And I have 76. Okay, whatever. He'll have unlocked it by the time I get to that last tile. You know what, just to make sure I'm not a pumpkin eater right here, I'm going to go ahead and... Cool. Okay, I've unlocked them. Go ahead and build those roofs. We got to get you enclosed, man. You are suffering from massive hypothermia. Do not die on me. He's at 40%. When does he faint from hypothermia? <laughs> Definitely did not expect this ending. <laughs> no, why? God. Um, I also have to enclose these walls. I'm going to go ahead and just get like a torch. And uh, here we go. Campfire and torch in here. We don't have enough stored, but it's okay. We're going to go ahead and bring it back. Let's put a stockpile zone over here. This is really like the worst house in existence. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> don't die on me, man. Oh, he is getting a minor break risk now. Whoa, just like the cold has really gone to his head. Oh, jeez. And he's recreation deprived. <laughs> no, and he botched the construction. No, he did it again. <laughs> He's getting hypothermia. <laughs> he botched it a third time. Dude, I could open up the roof, but then that would let back out the cold. It's actually colder inside right now at this particular... How are you failing this so much? How are you failing this? <laughs> this is the worst possible thing. <laughs> Oh my god, how could you be this bad? <laughs> Hang on a second, I'm going to have to undo the roof. How is he this bad at construction? <laughs> Hang on a second, go ahead and remove the roof first. Let back in the cold. Get some light there. Good, brightly lit 100%. He is going insane now. Okay, I have my first break. Don't go crazy on me, tile man. Don't go crazy on me. Fortunately, this is only a temper tantrum. He will get over it pretty fast. Although we now have let in the cold. It is getting warmer, although it's colder in his room. How did you fail at campfire construction? <laughs> Didn't I just say I was going to show you that I'm decent at the game? Oh, actually, this is good because now he can get more experience from repairing his walls. Just don't die of ravenous hunger. Do not die of ravenous hunger. He's at 50, 60% hypothermia. If you were to just not be so crazy for like five minutes. Do not let the hypothermia get to you. 62%. Okay, now he's down. But the weather is getting warmer. The weather is getting warmer out. Why are you down? Why are you down? Is your hypothermia going up or down? 49, 62%. Still 62%. And it's getting warmer out. Look at that. Is he going to get cold inside? For, please get back up. <laughs> he just has lost the will to live. <laughs> oh my god. Did he at least get some melee experience from 59? Tile man, stay with me. Stay with me, tile man. I have a visitor. Why isn't he warming up? He should be warming up. It's 58 degrees. 54. Okay, it is dropping again. God save tile, man. This is really odd. Okay, thoughts and prayers going with tile, man. 62%. Malnutrition. Yeah, the malnutrition is coming too. 21%. That's really kind of odd. Okay, he yes, he clearly did collapse due to extreme exhaustion. Hmm. Dora the ex Dora be exploring. We could use a man in black right here, honestly. It's kind of odd why he didn't. Okay. Temperature. Yeah, temperature. It is getting colder. All right. I have failed. I have failed. I have to reload a save. Sadly. Oh, first failure. Who would have expected him to fail the fire construction three times the three times in a row? You're such a failure. I hate you, Tile Man. 
that was like insanely bad luck. Although I probably should have kept an eye on that. Okay, so if he didn't fail, okay, so first attempt failure, but if he didn't manage to fail that four times in a row, let's see if he gets it this time. Otherwise I will just, okay, there we go. Thank God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, like unusually bad luck. All right, so now will you die of hypothermia? 51% now just a minor break risk. He's okay. He's warm again. He's not as tired. He's not as tired. Ah, much better. Okay, so we will call him Tile Man 2. Tile Man 2, because this is not my first attempt anymore. Owning up to it. Also, Rowan Woodcock, thank you very much for the $5. Longtime fan of your philosophical ramblings. Would love to see you struggle through Caves of Cuts in it. Caves of Cut is a fantastic game. Ooh saved yeah those were all my attempts to like find a spawn that you just saw in my load files actually the load files tile man tile man tile man tile man yeah it's pretty horrible looking horrible looking set of save files i don't think i've ever had somebody fail to make a campfire four times in a row though all right well he is gaining experience again all right, so this is the second rendition. Think of him as, like, I don't know, Luke Skywalker, son of Tile Man, Darth Vader the Tile, the Tile Man. Hmm, we have 78 tiles unlocked, which really means 7,700 XP. So now we get another 14 XP, uh, or 14 tiles to unlock. So we're going to need to keep, like, kind of leapfrogging our way over to other sources of food. So if we get another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He'll get 15 by the time he gets there, so I'm just going to unlock that one. I'll just lock, like, unlock like 100 more, too. No, I don't think I'll go quite that far, but yeah, he's got the experience now. Ooh, look, another one. Oh, are more people doing tilement? Yeah, I think tilement is a great idea for a challenge. Somehow I feel like all the thumbnails on my channel have always just sort of been like a picture of a tile. So when Settle did it, I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, why did I, like, how do we not try that before? That's so sweet. It's really fun to play tile, Matt. I don't know. There's just something about it that's like, like, you just watch the progression. It's really satisfying to see all the area that you've, like, conquered and overcome. Anyway, actually, I did this challenge to Twitch. We got, like, unbelievable luck. <laughs> because there were so many opportunities for me to just die horribly. But I just totally didn't. <laughs> like, when I definitely should have died. Um, so I guess that's my, like, comeuppance for those other times. Um, did my rice crops survive the cold? Okay, they did. Although I am now experiencing starvation again. I gotta keep an eye on that. I'm malnourished. Uh, that's no good. Oh, malnourishment again. Uh, I will go ahead and... Do we have a harvest here? Yeah, we do have a harvest. 98% or 100% there. Let's go ahead and just allow that to happen. Here, go, go tile man number two. Do what your father couldn't. Don't go insane when you're uh, just trying to, like, build a campfire. It's kind of odd that he got a mood break. I like, hadn't had that happen. He also destroyed his entire house. He really... Oh, yeah, I also forgot to, like, let him sleep. Let's go ahead and allow him to sleep. Just do anything at any time of day. That kind of compounded with the whole, like, you know, going crazy thing. No, oh, no, do not allow that wood in the doorway. There we go. Okay, so now he has a comfy 83 degrees. Not really comfy, kind of hot, but I'll take it over what it, I was living with a few minutes ago. So now we are enclosed within this, what is honestly a tomb. Um, not, really, not really any particular reason to keep the tomb around. But we will go ahead and expand this zone just so that he can get that out of the way. Unless if, is that actually beautiful for him? He sort of likes the tomb. Not that much, though, so yeah, we will take that down. Um, hmm. Hmm. Ah. Anyway, this challenge, I feel like, what is the goal of this challenge? That is a valid question. Um, 
I feel like... Yes, Luke Tile Walker. <laughs> Fluke Skyhawker. <laughs> I mean, I guess the goal of Tile Man is to get, like, electricity. I feel like the goal of civilization since the dawn of time was to have electricity. Electricity is basically magic. <laughs> like... <laughs> what? It is. It's totally magic. There's no way that electricity isn't magic, man. So I, I feel like that this run is over when you get to electricity. Um, although, like, will we get there? Probably not in this stream because this was not really the optimal spawn point. I also just think it's very satisfying here to, like, just look at the tiles you've unlocked. So this is, whoops, that is not how I want to do this. Um... 93 tiles. Does that look like 93 tiles? Probably not. Like, I think that there are, what is it, 300 by 300 tiles, so there's 90,000 tiles on one large RimWorld map. Like a large 300 by 300. Um, so if you wanted to try this, keep in mind that there are like 90,000 tiles to unlock before it's all over, I suppose. I do prefer doing it with one colonist, although it would be pretty easy to do it with more. Um, so you can do it, like, basically however you want. I just think about our other priorities, though. So basically, we've done a little bit of deconstruction here. We have done a little bit of repair. Um, I think I'm going to unlock some more just so that we can repair the entirety of this inside. But I think after this, we're trying to get our own, like, food supply kind of automated. My food supply is automated. Because we're running out of berry bushes, and that's bad. Um, we won't be able to get any type of high hydroponics anytime soon. Getting research up and running would be a pretty OP way to just break and, like, totally end the challenge. Probably won't be able to get there, though, just this time either. Um, but if we can build that inside... Ooh, we have construction level 3 already! Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and put out one spike trap out here. Um, probably beside the door, and then we will take down this... Other door. We'll probably try to wall in our fields over here somehow. Because you want your fields defended because raiders will go straight for those things. Um, hmm. Also, the down under frog. Thank you. Is that, like, related to Rimmy? This is, like, some sort of Rimmy AA crossover. Like, Rimmy XAA. Wow. Like, just the thought of the bromance that could be had with Rimmy is, like, insane. And, like, mind-blowing. Like, what he could... I'm sorry, I just got lost in fantasy there for a second. Um, hmm. What was I going to say before that? Um, sorry, I just really like Remy a lot. Uh, life is endless, but I am not. I'm done with everything. I, I really, <laughs> really hope you're okay. <laughs> Although, basically, because of all the other messages you sent, I think that's just a meme -y, uh, yeah. <laughs> that is a little bit, uh, scary. I, I am afraid now. But thank you very much for the $10. I do hope you've been enjoying life and the videos. Uh, Bimpy the Wimpy. Also, thank you very much for the hundred... For the hundred... Um, oh, wait a minute. Is that Norwegian Corona? Thank you very much. That's very, very generous. Building with failure, yet planting with guile. Starving for berries. But I'm sure of a tile. Snaps. Snaps. Honestly. Thank you very much. I hope you've been enjoying the videos. Also, Freelancer and G, thank you very much for the member. And Shimmerglass for the 20 euros. So nice to kind of finally catch live. My favorite Let's Play VTuber. Thanks for all the entertainment. You know, I don't really consider myself a VTuber. I just consider myself uh, the greatest YouTuber of all time. Uh, naturally, because of all the amazing things that I've said and done. But thank you. That means a lot. Appreciate you. Right, let's see how many tiles that is. I think I've just sort of come to the point where I, I unlock a lot of tiles and then check and make sure that I wasn't overdoing it here. 111, so that's 110, and I think I have 120. Yeah, so I can unlock about 10 more tiles. Um, I would say from this point, moving forward, moving forward with our relationship with the tile man, we could go ahead and just take down some more trees because we're going to require wood for the next steps. Wood. Wood time. Is it worth buying Rimworld at full price or waiting for it to go on sale? If Rimworld goes on sale, it goes for on sale for about, like, ten bucks, I would say. Because I think one thing that was inherent in Tynan's game plan was basically always leaving the game at full price. Which I do really respect. Like, that's... That's good. Like, he doesn't really need to pander. It's just a good game. 
Um, I say buy the base game, and then if you like it, later on see if you want any of the DLC. There's not really... Personally, I just kind of like biotech. Um, the royalty is actually... I would say biotech is my favorite, then maybe royalty... Then maybe ideology. Yeah. Uh, okay, the mad hare has appeared. The mad hare hath appeared. Uh, it is very far away, though, and basically not a threat, so we can allow it to go through the defenses. The only thing I just learned recently is basically nimble people can just, like, glide through defenses, which is insane. Um, I need to keep an eye on this hair. There it is. Cue the Jaws music. na 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 A very scary a hair. A scary hair. Kind of a tongue twister, honestly. Uh, wait a minute. No, finish tile man. Oh, uh, wait, he's missing the wood. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and deconstruct these trees. I mean, d uh, take them down. However, just whatever you do to destroy the trees. Here we go. Tile man. Tile man. He's doing what a tile can. He lives in a... <sighs> Hovel. He has no friends, but he's still Tile Man. Ooh, go Tile Man. Um, great job, Tile Man. We I am somehow alive. I don't know how this became such a catchy dude. Oh my god, I love the Tile Man song. Who's your favorite superhero? Actually, it's Tile Man, Mom. Why didn't you get me a Tile Man mug and a Tile Man costume for Halloween? Mm. Royalty is so so, but with mods expanding, psy casting it can get crazy. Yeah, like I enjoy playing royalty. It's not very YouTubeable because it's just sort of like you have a limited number of challenges you can do. I can just basically stay away from this hair, so I don't really want to waste my spike trap on it. I could just a kit for murder. Um, although I am not sadistic, I am a rational human being who has thoughts and feelings about stuff. Also, how is Tile Man doing in terms of mood? We've basically not checked on him. He's sleeping in the heat, sweaty. Ooh, he's a sweaty boy. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and... Oh, he is afraid. Hang on a second. Wait a minute. Why have you left open the door? Oh, you've wasted your trap, Tile Man. Well, at least it gives me a meal. I'm not really grinding the levels. Let's go ahead. Uh, whoops. Well, yeah, we will cook a simple meal forever. Uh, let's go ahead and make baby food. Oh, whoops. No, I forgot. I'm supposed to be making a production. We will make a butchering spot. We aren't really going to, like, um, shell out for, uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's so many, like, idioms from New York that I have just, like, littered my speech. Yeah, I'm going to shell out for that. Although I guess that's not a New York thing. Well, there's a lot of Yiddish terms my mother used to use. Just like from the New York lifestyle. The New York lifestyle. I never realized like how intense of a mid-Atlantic accent I have. It is pretty serious. Well, some people are like, hey, hey, where is your accent from? And I never really thought there was one until I compared with other people and yep, I have a massive accent. Um, let's go ahead and put on more unlocked tiles, so I'm pretty sure we've unlocked these now. Let's go ahead and see. We've got 130, well, we'll round it up, 138 tiles, because by the time we get up there, we'll have it. Uh, let's go ahead, 138, so now we've got 124, so we can unlock another 14, everyone. Ooh, 14 more tiles. Hooray. Um, let's go ahead and... What is really our next target here? Um... It would be nice to get a bit more of a kill box going right here. Yeah, like, save me from invaders. Uh, although some medicine might be good to harvest around this time. There is some medicine, but it's kind of further out. Or we could take down this giant steel structure over here. Methinks we just go for more of the trees. I speak for the trees. Six, seven, um... Ooh, that's a nice spread of trees. Eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so there we go. We have a lot of 14. I don't know why I'm counting so enthusiastically. No, just, I'm feeling so like Sesame Street right here. One, two, three. Uh, it, I always seem to turn into the count whenever I play this goddamn challenge. 
<laughs> oh god. Uh, we have had the rabbit. Although I will probably get sick if I eat this meal, unfortunately. Mason Mead, thank you very much for the $50. That's very, very generous of you. I hope you're not putting yourself in any type of need. Best YouTube gaming channel. Love the philosophy and ancient wisdom shit post. Uh, thank you very much. I haven't really felt like creating an ancient wisdom in a while, so maybe it'll just happen. Either that or maybe I'll start another channel where all I try to give you is ancient wisdom. I think I need to be colder, though. This is one of my fears when I left New York behind and I moved to Florida. Oh, an ancient bed. I wonder if we could use that. Oh, we can use the ancient bed. How comfortable is it? Immunity gain, speed factor, 95%. Rest effectiveness, 85%. Maybe an ancient bed is... That's actually not really that good. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a real bed. A real bed. Maybe I should make more philosophy. Because the people want it. I like making philosophical... Nah, I'm kind of missing it now. Feeling a little philosophical lately. I'm feeling a little bit, actually, it kind of is determined by, like, where I am in my life. I have been feeling slightly more philosophical over the last couple of months. In a good way, in a good way. Like, I might just make a philosophical series just for me, you know? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Randomly started singing in PZ after I killed a thousand zombies and dropped the second floor from the police station. I don't remember singing like that. When, which playthrough was that? When I began my in song. Tile man, he's doing whatever a tile can. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Uh, let's go ahead and cover the floor with crap. I mean wood. <laughs> Whoops. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, everyone always says that the content really, man, AA, the content has been bad ever since you stopped talking about philosophy. AA, why won't you make some more philosophical content? Honestly, they're, they're right. They are correct. It hasn't been, it hasn't been anywhere near as good uh, since I did the philosophical stuff. Although I stopped doing it for a while because I was, people like wanted philosophy and I was like, all right, I'll give them philosophy. And then it just didn't really come out okay. And I was like, ah, all right, I don't think I have to do that. So I stopped doing it for a while, and now no one's asking anymore, and I'm like, yeah, I think I want to make that. And I think that's just the way it works. 163 tiles. Actually, 100 and 164, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Look at me go. 164, so I've got 138. Ooh, we're getting ready for a nice spread of tiles, everyone. A nice spread of tiles. Uh, why does it sound so gross when I say it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, uh, yeah, uh, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I think we have about 27 tiles to unlock there. So let me just go ahead and double check that. I now have unlocked 164. Cool. So you just take that number 165 and take it down by one. Um, we will go ahead and claim all of this land for me. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and probably like fix it and then deconstruct it. No, tile man, don't eat that. That's not very safe as much so as the berries. Look, there's some berries with your name on them right there. Because we're running out of food. Uh, yeah, we should probably harvest this. No, tile man, don't eat the meat. Smoking these meats. Living like Zuck. I would watch Zuck as a tile man. Do you think Mark Zuckerberg would ever consider like potentially doing a tile man challenge? Wait a second, why are you inside of your tiles? How dare you move outside of your tiles? Why is he... Oh, he must be somehow allowed to do that. Okay, there are a few little funny illegal things that he will do like this, so I'm just going to have him deconstruct these because that was illegal. How dare you, tile man? Go over there. Deconstruct. You haven't unlocked those tiles yet. You need to deconstruct these tiles before you go there. How dare you? How dare you break the rules? 
Like your fa well, your father just died. Your father died. I remember Tile Man one. Also, the Down Under Frog. Thank you very much for the ten Australian again. Didn't mean to scare, but it's a ref. Oh, a reference I didn't quite catch. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry I didn't catch. Yes, the Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been an utter disaster for humanity. Man, someday I should just... Someone needs to send me a list of memes because I am getting... I am honestly old now. I am old. Well, not compared... Some of you guys are like, No, you a young boy, AA. You a boy, AA. You ain't nothing but a boy. Uh, but yeah, I am... I am older than many of you now. Or at least than when I started, because I started making these videos when I was, what, 22? Yeah, I think I was 22. Actually, 21. Toki Bear, thank you very much for the $4.20. Greetings from Alabama. I enjoy your existence. And I, yours. Thank you very much. We can enjoy our existences together for the next, uh, few years until... The incident will occur. I don't know what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Let's go ahead and deconstruct these ancient beds because it's not like we're bringing any amazing new people to our colony, right? Ooh, I like the paved tile. I just like the look of it. It doesn't really bring down the condition of the room, but it does look good. I mean, it doesn't look good to the in-game characters, but it also doesn't really look bad either, and it's not dirty, so I like it, therefore. All right, it's 62 degrees outside, but I'll keep the campfire on the inside. He should suffer damage. Ooh, that's kind of a cool idea. Yeah, I was thinking, like, remember the last time that we did the, um... Ooh, no, ancient lamp, we can't actually, uh... Or could we claim it? Claim. No, I still have only the option of deconstructing it. Yeah, it would be kind of interesting if you suffered damage every time you were outside of it. Like, you just started bleeding. Oh, uh, why am I being covered in all these bruises? Oh, unfortunately, he doesn't get any resources from those ancient objects. I did not know that, actually. Um, we could just, like, transplant this table. I will reinstall this table in my house. In my father's house. <laughs> Technically, it is my father's house. I will reconstruct my father's house. Okay, that amount of meat eating is unacceptable again. We will go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's take down some more of these berry bushes. Though we are getting a little bit lighter on food. It's making me slightly uneasy here. I'm uneasy. So we're running out of food, but we do have some 71% grown grass. And somehow these bizarre cold snaps haven't gotten us killed. I think he's slightly better off eating berries, right? Ravenously hungry is now no longer a phenomenon. Known to us in existence. Um, let's go ahead and... What is he doing? Relaxing socially alone. That is acceptable. Uh, I think we could start to get out, like, a second structure. And we might even want to get in a research table. Just because when we get a research table, that's basically free experience. We don't need to keep unlocking tiles to get more experience. We just basically... Or we don't need to keep, like, going out and doing stuff with the tiles. It just makes life a little bit more convenient and easy. Um, so I think if we were to, 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 uh, eh, let's actually save it with the table, because our iron, iron willedness will basically carry us throughout much of the rest of this challenge here. I'm planning on getting rid of this door in time anyway. We have not enough stored. Why does it allow me to build it here, but not here? Um, oh, that's because it interferes with the campfire. That is unfortunate. Um, hmm... I could move my bed. Yeah, I'll do that, I think. I'll reinstall the bed over yonder. And let's go ahead. Once he's done that, we will install a research table. Da 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 da. Research table. Hooray. Cool. We put that over there. And then work, tile man. Work. Good. Good. We do need to stop having this be made of wood. Uh, I can't think of a more eloquent way to put that, so just stop making this out of wood, is what I'll say. Let's go ahead and deconstruct these back walls, just because, generally speaking in this challenge, raiders will set fire to your base, and you will die. Uh, although we probably want to make these things out of limestone. Limestone would probably be better. Also, William, thank you very much for the happy unbirthday messages. Uh, and the $2, appreciate you. 
glad to see you again. It's been a while. I started to worrying I was sick or something. Glad I've just been plugging away at Twitch. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm like... Part of it is just, like, me getting ahead on stuff, because... I don't think I'm really, like, one of these people who can make a video every single day. I prefer, like, the kind of weekly thing, or maybe every ten days or so. Um... But yeah, no, like, I just, I got kind of ahead on some stuff so that I have plenty of content. So basically, yeah, like, now I just basically make a video on whatever I, I don't know, I'm kind of, like, living a dream. My life is a lot of fun. I'm, like, I'm really happy. So yeah, no, um, more videos coming up. But yeah, I just want to make sure it was always, like, the stuff I most wanted to do. Um, but yeah, I took some time off. Time off is always good. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so that is 30 worth of those. So I can't really build that one, unfortunately. As long as he doesn't botch. He does, he does did botch one of them. That is an unfortunate. Uh, this is an unfortunate consequence of the Industrial Revolution. 30, meme is beyond you. Ah, Down Under Frog. Also, I very much enjoy your avatar, Down Under Frog. A hundred blocks. I should probably get out more limestone. Unfortunately, this limestone flagstone will not, like, yield anything to make up for the consequences of the Industrial Revolution. So let's go ahead and just, like, uh, we got to unlock more tiles, man. We got to get more tiles. What do we have? 211. All right, let's go ahead and unlock another swath of tiles. So we have now unlocked, because I hate counting them one by one. We have now unlocked, ooh, we can get, like, 40 tiles. Actually, 45, 46. Um, let's go ahead and do, yeah, mental math with your boy, AA. Uh, 3, uh, 10, 15, mm, yeah, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. <clears throat> 30, 31, 32, 33, uh, 34, 35, 36. Uh, 37, where? Uh, yeah, sure. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, uh, 43. 3, 44, 45. There we go. That's 45 tiles unlocked. So that brings us up to about 210 tiles. Nicely done, tile man. We will allow him to go over here and deconstruct things. Cool. Your boy killing it. Uh, although he is slightly, like, not following the rules. I mean, he would do it either way, so, like, I'm not gonna stop him so much. But, yeah, he seems to go... There is a way that he can jump between allowed areas. Like, if I were to just unlock tiles... Like, over here. He will walk to them, but not allowed for this challenge. Against the rules. Unacceptable. Once again. Okay, he has eaten a little bit of the meat. Okay, we are being raided! Unfortunately, hopefully this is not a nimble human. If you're nimble, this is basically over. Okay, he's a wimp undergrounder and delicate. Never actually seen this word before. Um, this is an awesome colonist to get raided by, and she has a club. Wow, look at her go with her club. That will soon be ours. And she even has a parka that will also be ours soon, which is great for not dying of hypothermia. Uh, like that would ever happen to us. Um, let's go ahead, Tile Man. Stay inside. Stay inside, Tile Man. Do some research, Tile Man. Stay in there. Um, man, the Industrial Revolution, eh? Uh, let's go ahead and just set his new zone. We will just say... Home man. Uh, we'll create a new area. We'll call that home sweet, sweet, sweet home. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and set that area to be home sweet home. And that is in here. Yeah, woo. Stay at home. Don't go outside ever. Uh, why are you? Oh, wait a minute. Whoops. Stay at home. Whoops. So I stay at home sweet home. There we go. Good job staying at home sweet home. Let's go ahead and give you a research project now. I do think a battery would be nice. I always seem to do this when we first start on this challenge. And honestly, it's a great way to just get tons of intellectual experience. Let's watch as Grand Seer just stands there. Uh, I will... Wait a minute. Go outside of your allowed area. I don't know why is she just stopping there. Oh, no. She's going to set fire to my fields. Oh, crap. I may actually be totally screwed. 
Uh, come in. Come in. Here I am. I will just stand here for a moment. Hang on a second. I forgot that she does destroy all of my stuff. Okay, good. Fortunately, you did not set fire to the fields. Okay, you are still alive. It is time to... La 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 la. Taking your stuff. Ooh, she also had a smoke leaf joint. Nice. Oh, and pants! Can you imagine the insane luck to get pants? Whoa! Awesome! Now we have to deal with a human. I heard it's my birthday. Th it's not my birthday, but th uh, sorry, that was a massive me running meme. Killed 90 Gaming, thank you very much for the $2. Um, it's not really my birthday. People are like, basically, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not dealing with you people. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that bed must be destroyed. I guess they saw it as my claimed furniture. Uh, I think I will just leave her there. I don't really want anyone else. I, I like, prefer being alone. I'm a loner. I'm AA. I'm a loner. Haven't you heard of me? We will allow you to go back to your unlocked tiles. You don't have to stay at home, home man. Home man. I want to see the comeback of home man. Maybe I will do another home man run in Project Zomboid. 225, so I think that means we can unlock another 14-ish or so. Let's go ahead and unlock some area to just dump her far away that we won't see her ever again. Probably behind that slab of rock. Very far away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 15 ish that's pretty good okay so let's go ahead and create a dump zone for dumping of course uh and we will put not even the chunks just uh human corpses in there because we don't like human corpses because we detest our humanness um also have i unlocked these other tiles no, I've not unlocked those. Okay, I'm gonna go need to unlock those tomorrow so that I can get some actual clothes. But let's not interrupt Tile Man himself, who was having such a great time here. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest, harvest, harvest. And then harvest, this, this. Uh, how close are we to a harvest on the grass? Not having fertile soil has really been a major consequence since the Industrial Revolution for humanity and its consequences. Malnutrition trivial. Okay, he is improving. His plant skill is probably rising as well, right? Feast. Feast. Uh, unfortunately, he is not a cannibal. I did not make you boy that overpowered. If he were a psychopath cannibal, he would be... Oh no, he has botched one of the harvests. That is actually rather bad for our fellowship. Um... Okay, equip the club. I may need to kill an animal. In its sleep. Ooh, do I risk killing a guinea pig in its sleep? Me thinks... Ooh, let's go ahead on a, on a secret mission. Secret boy. Um, let's go into home sweet home unlock tiles. So if we go one and two, I'm pretty sure we've unlocked that now. Let me go ahead and just check. This is 227, so that's still under our unlocked tile amount. Great. Okay, so that is allowed. Let's go ahead and just kill this guinea pig. Whoops. Uh, no, you are not allowed to do that, Tile Man. You need to walk around this way. These are your unlocked tiles, Tile Man. I don't know why... Okay, whatever. You. There we go. That is allowed. Kill that guinea pig. No, the guinea pig has woken up. Wow, what unfortunate luck. We did destroy its front right leg, though. Come on. No, I don't want you to run. You shouldn't have to run away from this guinea pig. Oh, also... Just while he's most probably going to die, considering the luck I've had. Look at the insane amount of experience he gets from melee fighting. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy how much stronger he gets. Unfortunately, that thing did break the skin, though. Uh, so I am going to need to, like... Here, tend to thyself, Tile Man. Uh, that was such an extremely unfortunate guinea pig fight. I needed it for food, though. He'll heal pretty fast, though, so hopefully he won't get an infection. If I die to an infection, though, that would be legal because it wouldn't just be me randomly stricken with a disease. That would be due to my own issues, so I will I will not cheat in that case. <laughs> there are, like, certain times where I need to cheat in this challenge because it just gets to be boring. 
what else did we destroy? Unfortunately, that's part of its meat gone, but its front right leg isn't that bad. I mean, I guess we'll let it bleed out so that we could get rid of some of the blood from the meal. Also, Hall Grand's here. Um, just we don't want that dead body, like, making him upset. But I think the most urgent thing right here is just healing from that. Here you go, Tile Man. It's good for your health. It's good for your health. The right leg bite is the only thing that kind of concerns me right now. The left arm is improving. The left hand, it, man, it really tore up his left side. Tile Man crushed the guinea pig's uh, front left leg with his club. Fortunately, he did crush its leg in its sleep. Then it tore him. It immediately woke up and bit him. Then it gnawed on his right leg. That does make sense. Like, you know, it's basically fright or flight response. All right, I guess that's acceptable. Also, let's go ahead and unlock these other tiles. Now that we've got that just an insane, like, ten more tiles from that combat. Uh, we could get a smoke leaf joint in us, too, right now. Let's go ahead and just... Yeah. Yeah, forswear. Forswear the pants. Okay, now you are not as upset as you were, like, five minutes ago. Also, wear the uh, parka. I know it's, like, 70 degrees out, but it's not really going to make it worse. Okay, it is time to eat a guinea pig, our meal, uh, because we were ravenously hungry before that. Just as soon as we recover from the insane bite that we got. And, okay, good, that's only malnutrition. I'm actually more worried about an infection than malnutrition, because this room is still, like, kind of dirty. And I <laughs> patched myself in the literal dirt. Um, come on, heal tile, man. I'm just trying to avoid, like, certain doom, you know what I mean? Malnutrition... Uh, maybe I will get up and... Okay. Alright, yep. Yeah. Okay, butcher. Butcher. Yeah, there's not really much time. I wish it had been a rabbit, because I think rabbits are slightly less dangerous. There is a rabbit right there. I could have been slightly more patient, but, you know, you live and you learn. Um, we will cook at the campfire now. No, cook, sir. Cook. Whoops, I'm not selecting him. There we go. Uh, begin drum party. Oh, he has to haul back in. Oh, and he also has no space left for hauling. Hang on a second. Let's merge the wood and then... Oh, that's outside of the unlocked tiles. He slightly put it beside himself. Well, then I will use one of my unlocked tiles to do that. Okay. How many do we have now again? We have 231 and we have 247. So we can unlock another 16 tiles. Good, good. Feast. Whoops, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Make it into a meal. Yeah, haul. Okay, there we go. No. Unacceptable. Haul the meat. No, stop trying to pick up the meat. Now, cook. There you go. Okay. He, like, thinks it's so urgent, so he doesn't do it, but whatever. I'd slightly prefer that he make it into a meal. I think just the food poisoning chance is slightly lower, but... Or, like, something is better about it. Okay, cool. 97% grown on the rice, though. We did not lose the rice. That was the big deal. Woo! Okay, we actually have, like, rice now. Oh, jeez, we waited so long for the rice. <laughs> yes, feast. Hmm, paved tile. If we put down paved tile there, I also want to get back that spike trap. Uh, missing 45 wood. That also doesn't really bode so well. That, really, that guinea pig took me out, but now I'll have food. Ooh, good, good. Let's also just order him to basically chop down all of the wood nearby. Like, whenever he unlocks a tile with wood in it, I want him chopping that thing down. So that's also outside the unlocked area. Um, we could unlock some tiles over there, over there. He has recovered from the deadly guinea pig bite. Which could have caused an infection and would have been rather bad. But let's just go ahead and see what he does today. Let him just get back to work a little bit. Get some stuff done. He's going to get some rice up. Harvest botched. Eh, but whatever. 
You know, like, now you basically have a steady stream of food. Ooh, look at you go, Tile Man. Bringing the food to the fire. Nice job. Honestly, very good. Very good. Although, unfortunately, his cooking priorities... Man, he's really botching a lot of these. I am not feeling so optimistic about our prospects anymore. Um... Uh... Yeah... Okay, I will reinstall the bed one more time because he doesn't really care about the layout. And I will install the table here. <laughs> I want to keep my house compact just because it gets to be a lot to take care of. But, man. <laughs> hmm. Unassigned raw meat from the... I could have done that, I guess. I feel like I'll be using it for emergencies in a couple minutes, though. Ooh, we could double over the stool for the research in the tile if we want to make a stool there, though. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a stool, put a 25 wood stool over there. Nice. Uh, he is kind of making annoying trips back and forth here. Let's actually just do manual priorities. Let's have him do, um... We'll have him do cooking after he does plant care. Plant cutting and growing... And before all that, obviously, we'll do these major ones. Bed rest. Whoops, bed rest. Child care, he won't really even do it all. Basic, yeah, is important. Yep, okay, so there we go. So now he is doing his plant work before anything else. I guess after he finishes this one. Yeah, there we go. Harvesting rice plant. Finish the harvest, then do the next thing. Also, have you on the... Well, you've certainly unlocked enough tiles by now. After a while, I will admit that this challenge does start to become, like... Basically, we've unlocked all the tiles, that it just becomes kind of an inconvenience. But it's kind of fun at the start of a playthrough. And I think that the start of the playthrough is the most fun time. Yes, right. Ooh, we could have done pemmican. You're right. Did we have pemmican unlocked? Oh, why didn't I think of that before? Uh, we unfortunately do not have pemmican unlocked. So, yeah, I guess I kind of wanted the battery more because I feel like that the electricity is... Electricity is like the goal of life, right? After all, like I said, all we're here to do is just enjoy the electricity while we're around still, right? I mean, it is the one, maybe the one good part of the Industrial Revolution and all of its consequences... He's had, like, an oddly cold time. I was contemplating whether I should do this challenge as him in, like, an area with seasons. But I feel like seasons is perhaps too unforgiving on this character just because he's already limited by all of his tiles. That he can't really create any other indoor grow area. I was thinking of trying it for an underground playthrough. That could potentially work. But there's so many other ways to spin this challenge that it's just... Like, it's very fun for thinking of ideas for content. You hate wind turbines. Yeah, they are kind of annoying, that's true. I guess I like the results of the electricity, but maybe not, like... I don't know, all the things that make it possible, that is to say. That is fair and a valid standpoint to have. So, 282 tiles now we can unlock. We've got, um... How many is this here? 231, so that's 50 tiles, or 51 tiles that we can unlock. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's just basically start to fill in this whole area and get tons of those trees unlocked, too. Um, if we do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's just start counting by tens, because it's becoming kind of like an inconvenience. 10, so that's 20. Um, uh, let's do... Ooh, I'm going to break my promise right here. 20, well, we'll do 30. 32. 38. 40. 50 tiles. Okay, so that doesn't really look like 50 tiles, but that gives us access to so much more wood. Yeah, do that. Stabilize your mood tile, man. You're going to have to be, like, all cool and relaxed for what we're going to do next. What should I do if I can't motivate myself to study and I play video games and watch YouTube all day? Um... Probably, like, I don't know, create some place where you just have books and you basically can't do YouTube. Like, go to a library or something like that. Yeah, I think that's valid. Make wood generator. I could make a wood fire generator. 
I'm afraid that I'll run out of wood here, though. I know that sounds like a ridiculous fear to, like, live, wi live with and live in. Although the wood, I feel like, is going to run out. Why would I depend on wood? Uh, hang on a second. Also, well, actually, maybe that's not a bad idea. Well, I'll need components first. Are we even anywhere remotely close to getting components? Oh god, we're going to have to like trace out some massive line. There is a component in the wall here, but I guess we could create like some sort of expedition to get to that component. Is there anything even closer? We got kind of horrible component luck this time. I guess we could go under the mountain. Meet like Gimli down there. I'll have to unlock like another hundred tiles and then just trace a line from here. Oh, a guinea pig seems to have fallen into one of my traps. Why am I so happy? Oh, from the smoke leaf. Burning passion for the work as well. That is true. Also, yeah, his stats are pretty good here. I guess the one thing I might add would be like cooking, but I didn't want to make him too, too OP. Um, yeah, it is helpful that he can kind of defend himself. Maybe I could throw that on cooking though. Essentially just make him into like a pacifist or something. You know, that even seems like perhaps too much rice for me. I'm going to need to create some sort of separate stocking area now. I think we'll use granite. Because he clearly needs somewhere to put all of this. Um, yeah, work on the table. No, just don't work so much on the wood. Work on, like, hauling this over here. Oh, wait, I have literally zero room left. <laughs> this is, like, the most crowded and disorganized place to live. Yeah, just put anything you want on the floors, tile van. Whatever space you got, that's what we'll work with. <laughs> oh, man. Does tile man have a girlfriend? Uh, his, well, his father did because he, she gave birth to Tile Man the second. So we've survived a raid. We've survived a deadly guinea pig attack. What else is there to survive? I mean, there will be slightly, not really slightly larger raids, but slightly better raids. Like maybe a stronger colonist. Uh, God forbid we get somebody with nimble come through because that is... They basically just, like, walk through your defenses. No consequences whatsoever. Um, if we make this... Let's actually just delete this zone and make it into a crafting spot. Because it would be nice if we could get some kind of, like... Oh, no, we can't actually put it there if we're already building something there. Never mind. Um, it would be nice if we could get, like, a bow or something just slightly better. Maybe keep it on the inside, store it there. But he's getting plenty of experience from this, anyway. Um, what do I want to do? I really just have the urge within me to build more walls. And I think I want to, like, basically protect this zone. I will just plan it out for you so we can go orders, um, plan. I think if we enclosed these berry bushes and did something like maybe this, and then we made the rest of it look like... Maybe just like a straight cut across here, those 23 tiles or so there. That's an enclosed area that we can defend from raiders, and that way they always have to kind of come in through our kill box area. Um, there's not really a very good way to do this challenge without a kill box, otherwise you're just chancing it with a club. I guess you could do it with somebody who's extremely passionate about melee, but you'd probably get an infection somewhere in there. Um, hmm. Disorganized. See some of the Discord servers I manage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, just in general. Discord is a pretty horribly disorganized place, except for some of them. Some of them are very nice. Hmm. Hmm. Two meals. Okay, I've got plenty of meals here. I guess we kind of want him to haul first, though. Yeah, I don't really like the kind of disorganization here. Let's go ahead and have you just haul first, Tile Man. Yeah, before you do any cooking, haul. Just bring all that stuff back. Make it easy for you. Make it easy on yourself, Tile Man. Do all your hauling first. Then when you get back, you can, you know, enjoy your life and the way things are going there in your hovel. Hovel man, he's tile man, he's doing the stuff that he can. Let's go ahead and build that bench. Nice. All right, cool. He's Why is he walking kind of slow? He's probably sick. Yeah, he's got food poisoning. So I'm surprised that he didn't get food poisoning any earlier than this, because it is extremely common in this playthrough. 
Um, although, are you happy with your room more or less? Yeah, he's okay with it. We do want to give him a source of recreation as well. Let me go ahead and build him a horseshoe pin over here. Maybe like there-ish. And then we'll go ahead and unlock some more tiles. So we've got 331 tiles to unlock. Hmm. Zone. 331. Just wanted to thank you for showing me Kenshi Beautiful Game. Wish you could do more videos on it. Hey, Fem, thank you very much for the very kind words. I haven't been to back to Kenshi in a while. But I do like that game. 281. Okay, so I've got another... Oh, God, he's just throwing up over there. So I've got another 50 tiles or so to unlock. Um, I think we will go over to the granite. And we will probably deconstruct just about all of it. Because that's going to be a pretty good building material. We want to get stone if possible here. Uh, in our house. Whoops, that is steel. Um, mm, I think those are also steel. We will just leave those there. Uh, we could also get potentially some type of stone cutting table out. I think that would actually be a pretty good way of spending our time. Let's go ahead and get a production bench out here. We do have that unlocked. Yes, stone cutter's table. There it is right now. Um, we will put that down on maybe on the outside. And then let's go ahead and have a specialized area where we can store like steel and stone and just anything that won't totally fall apart on us uh, in the outside. So we'll put clear all. Let's just say steel because it doesn't go bad. And any type of like stone. We could put stone chunks here. We could put chunks. Chuns. There we go, chunks. Hmm. Let me see. Blocks. We all, yeah, blocks would also be good to have here. Will I share this live broadcast on my YouTube account as a video? Yeah, it'll go up there as a video at the end of this. I've kind of had the uh, goal of doing once a month streaming lately. Just like, I don't know, bring some of the live staff back to the main channel, you know. It'd become, like, kind of over-edited, and I wanted to just have another place to just kind of, you know, do some talking. I I'm happy that I've brought that back, because I've liked it on the VOD channel, but I don't want them to be, like, totally separate, I guess. Okay, cool. We got more food poisoning. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yes, he is a chungus. Nah, he's okay. He I mean, you can faint from food poisoning. Hang on a second. Just bring in that wood, too. That's a very deadly spot to have that wood. Also, while you're so down and out, like, make sure you handle this part. Okay, this guinea pig is going to spoil in 1.2 days. <sighs> I've only so much time left to eat that guinea pig. God, he keeps just throwing up everywhere. Uh, let's also make a place for potentially... We've got another 50 tiles or so to unlock. Okay, let's go ahead and start unlocking those now, shall we? Unlock tiles. Uh, I'm saying we unlock the four tiles around here. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, yeah, eleven, twelve. Uh, twenty. Thirty-six. And then we'll start to unlock near the granite. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. That's about 50 more. I think that's about all that we had unlocked. Because um, we, we are starting to run out of... Like, we're just straight up running out of storage space. This is not okay. Come on, tile man. Go, baby. Maybe also clean off this floor. It's just, like, bothering me. When he gets fast boy again, then he'll, like, be able to take care of himself and his surroundings again. I'm excited for it. He's a little dull right now. Good job. Yeah, go to sleep, Tile Man. That's okay. Get some rest. Um, actually, don't, uh, you know what, you're already, you've already got food poisoning, it doesn't matter, just eat the rice, whatever, we love you, tile man. Have a great day, enjoy, e oh god, but please just get through the meal. I hate that when they can't even get through the meal because they're just throwing up so much. <laughs> oh my god. Man. It feels like the videos have lost narrative focus. What did you watch first? Yeah, I've probably stayed more away from, like, the character-driven stuff. It all kind of depends, though. I think a lot of people just enjoy whatever they found in the first place. 
Um, but yeah, no, I think I wanted to do other stuff. I think I was just doing the same stuff over and over again, so... Man. Yep. Yeah, I'm I'm a dying YouTuber. I don't uh, I don't have any good ideas left. Sorry about that, man. Allow the wood as an outside stockpile. We could do the wood later. Hmm. Hmm. We'll try the library thing. Thank you. Hmm. Jared McWilliams. Hmm. He needs a sleb. What is a sleb? He needs a sleep. Is that like doge speak for <laughs> sleep? <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Expand zone. Let's go here. Hmm. Unlock more tiles. Hmm. Some games lend themselves to challenges or stories. Mood is also a factor. Yeah, I don't know. I don't always... I guess that's to say like... I don't always want to make the same type of narrative, so I've branched out into other stuff. Yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, sorry, man. Hmm, there we go. Let's have rotten. Let's not have regular ones. We want a place for fresh human corpses, though, too. Hmm. Yes, we have indeed come a long way since the hypothermia content. Hmm. Ooh, okay, rotting corpses. There we go. Cool. Uh, good. My house is, like, slightly better now. Not really by much. Low food. Okay. Hey, he's figuring it out. Come on, tile man. Okay, he is getting better. He's... Oh, no, he's got initial again. Ah, uh, this is, like, the one thing that really kills this whole challenge. Oh, God. Man. Not using shelves. I guess I could use shelves, you're right. Like, I haven't really fully adapted to them being in the game. Yeah, honestly, that is a good idea. Let's go ahead and use some shelves. That's a good idea. Um, let's get another shelf. Yeah, like over here, right behind him. Oh, cool, nice. This is actually gonna make my life a lot better. Thank you for this. Quest active, Nikki's salvation. Run of ideas changed the- I'm just kind of curious, though, why you- Like, what did you watch? What don't you like? Understandable, totally valid, although it does seem kind of odd to bring it up here. Got valid to run out of ideas and change the vibe of a channel to match the, of your own personal interest. Yeah, like why, what's the point of creating exactly the same thing over and over again if you just don't... I don't know, just like I don't, I don't like debating on this. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry that you don't enjoy it as much as whatever you found it for in the first place. Although, like, I don't know, like, what's the point of coming, <laughs> like, what's the point of coming to a stream to tell someone, like, hey, I hate everything you make, <laughs> like, <laughs> or I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just read some of those comments sometimes, and I'm like, why is this person saying this? So, like, could you explain a little bit more what you'd mean? Because I do like, like, kind of keeping up with the old content. Like, I used to do more RimWorld and stuff like that. Ah, oh, that is actually so much better. But yeah, I just don't really, like... I don't know, what is the- what are you trying to do to be constructive, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, it slightly bothers me. Yeah. I'm sorry. It does. Like, I love what I make. And I make sure that I do the stuff that I enjoy all the time, and it's not all- I guess it's not always as good. Like, or maybe you enjoyed some of the other stuff, or... I think that's also true, though, that you watch YouTubers for, like, whatever stuff that you discovered them for in the first place. I've also changed a lot over the years, but yeah, I don't- I don't know, what are you trying to get out of it? Didn't mean it like that, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, just like explain a little more rather than just saying like, man, the content is really getting bad. Like, okay, what are you not like? Yeah, I don't know, like sometimes people will say that they want to see more of something and I'm like, ah, that'd be kind of cool. Although like, I don't know, if you just say like, I don't know what you want to see. Yeah, like, I don't know, it kind of, but I also tend to kind of dismiss those comments because, or those comments, because I think people are just like, oh, I think that you just, like, discovered something and you're not seeing that same thing. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, um, like, Frankie on PC used to do a lot of DayZ. And so, like, a lot of people like watching him do DayZ. But, 
like he doesn't just do that and like the content kind of has to change and evolve and maybe it's not going to be as popular and maybe you won't like it all the time why do i not tend to use shelves often ah i don't know why probably because they're newfangled technology and i don't understand them <laughs> there are you happy ah! all right no more shelf spam though why do I not tend to- okay, oh god, why did I say that? Now I'm just going to cause everyone to do that. Yeah. I don't know, I like to alternate between stuff, between like, what I enjoy doing and what I think people will like. Because if I just do what I think people will like, then it kind of burns me out. But if I do stuff that I enjoy doing and a combination of that and stuff that- yeah, I don't know. It just seems kind of pointless to get into the debate. Like, it always seems to just end in me giving the same explanation, and I'm not going to give it every single time. Yeah, I'm sorry, a long-winded answer. It's just odd for... I guess it's odd for me to encounter that in live streams on YouTube. Or more on Twitch, I just figure. Will I continue playing Nessess? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Honestly, the shelves, basically the MVP here. I think that prevents stuff from being uh, downgraded outside as fast, too. Don't be shellfish. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh god, what was that? Like a firework? Jesus, what was that? Cargo pods? Jesus Christ, somebody just dropped off like 18 meals. This is so lucky. <laughs> oh my god. That's like insanely good luck. They just perfectly cooked meals. How did that happen? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's reinstall your bed over here. I need to make way for a new shelf. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Uh, wait a minute. No, I will never have room for the shelf right there. Oh, alas. I have no room for another shelf. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think Zomboid is the thing that people in have enjoyed the most. Well, I will say one thing. One consequence of me going over to segmented content, which I think a lot of people found me for like serialized stuff. Basically, I stopped doing series a while back because I had actually been doing series for a while. Um, but I stopped doing series because if the pilot flops, then you're kind of spending a month on this series that like you're losing energy on doing and nobody really wants to watch and everybody kind of hates. So I, like, stopped doing series back then for that reason. Hang on a second. Are you going outside of your allowed tile zone? Oh, no, you're not. You are perfectly allowed in here. But, yeah, basically with that, I went over to segments. Um, and then with segments, you kind of lose some of the narrative -y focus because you're not making, like, long-term stuff. So I guess that is a natural consequence. I think that's true. Hang on a second. Sorry, I just have to dismiss a call. Have I played They Are Billions? Yeah, really good game. Ooh, moving the table outside. Honestly, a good idea. Yeah, let's make a little bit more space in here. Um, hmm. What else? Here we go. Furniture. If we do... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dining chair. Here we go. Nice. One tile shelves now. That could work. We could do the one tile shelves. Mm, yeah, like the more introspective stuff. Yeah, I guess then I kind of come full circle back around to like the, yeah, like when will I, like when will you make philosophical content? I'll make it when I feel like it. I guess that's the long and short. That's probably what I should just say. Yeah. I don't know, maybe more coming up soon, but I also just, like I said, I kind of took a break so I could like get tons of stuff down the pipeline. There's actually an RCT video coming. PZ, RCT, and uh, actually another RimWorld. And then Nessess. We're going to be doing Nessess. Okay, he has gotten food poisoned again. Please, uh, oh wait a second, he hasn't unlocked these tiles yet. Colony XP tab. Okay, so we've got 426 tiles unlocked now. We can do zone. Let's expand the allowed area. Unlock tiles. Clear allowed tiles. Unlock tiles. Uh, 331. So we can unlock like 95 more tiles. That's stupid OP. Um, let's go back and do... Not really OP, but just a good thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, thirty. 
Uh, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. Cool, I've unlocked all of that. 89, 90. Why not? Nice. Ikatakiyama, thank you very much for the two euros. Appreciate you. Hmm. Hmm. Also, uh... Uh, yes, I will continue playing this house. Didn't I say that before? <laughs> I think I did. Ooh. Ah, food poisoning. Uh, we are being raided. Are they raiding immediately? No, they are preparing. Okay, so this is just one person named Tooth. Are you nimble? No, but you're an undergrounder. Not really that useful. Not really that useful. Okay, now you're beginning your assault. Um... Go back home. Go back home, Tile Man. Go back to home sweet Tile. There we go. Cope, Tile Man. Uh, we don't want you coming through this other door, though, so I will just stand you out here. You may suffer, though. Oh, wait a minute. No, Tooth just died in the insect area. Oh, awesome. Like, that's amazing. Fantastic. Ah, Tile Man. He's doing whatever a tile can. Uh, let's go ahead and I think we take apart the stand. Uh, no, not that sandstone wall. Uh, we're probably going to want a granite wall over here. Let's build one over in, like, this neighborhood. Ah, God, your food poisoning is really getting you killed here. Major food poisoning. Now, it's just the whole room is covered in vomit. Hmm. The insects truly are the real MVPs. Maybe we'll get a praying mantis. I always wish that, like, a praying mantis would bless me, you know? Like, come to me in my sleep, and I would wake up with one on my forehead. And, like, it would heal me. And I would be... I would be restored. There we go. We are recovering from the food poisoning. Awesome. Oh my god. I'm so tired of being covered in vomit. Oh my god. Hmm. Yes, the mantis prays for me. For whom does the mantis toll? Hmm. If we build... Come on, Tile Man. Um, go ahead and deconstruct this. No. I mean, you've basically avoided all danger and threats. Uh, how am I to... I got the research at three. Why are you... Oh, he can't access that tile. Hang on a second. Let me go ahead and unlock it. Unlock tiles. Oh, he did unlock that tile. Why aren't you just... Oh, sorry. Whoops. He's stuck at home sweet home again. There we go. Unlock tiles. Return to your unlocked tiles. There we go. He does eat very slow. But he's improving. Honestly, he's improved immensely. If we just take stock of everything that Tile Man has done, he's truly come further than any tile or man has before him. He just has, like, so much work for him and more than he can honestly manage. A one-person colony is quite a lot, although he doesn't really need any more grow zone than this. It's a really weird-looking grow zone. <laughs> uh... God. Sport Nucket, thank you very much for the $5. It is not indeed my birthday, but, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> How has this survived so many renditions? <laughs> no, it's not my birthday, but thank you very much for the ten for the $5. Oh, God. Appreciate you. Hmm. Ah. 
please stop telling people that it's my birthday. It's not my birthday. <laughs> ah, get the meals. Bring the meals in. Yeah, we probably want to bring these in. Here, stop getting food poisoning. Store away these meals, Tile Man. Yes, good. Okay, yeah, also, let's stop making meals for a little while. Do until you have, yeah, ten. Good, good. He's probably going to get drop potted to just make up for all the good luck I've had now. I mean, we got 25... Uh, actually, 25 more days on the meal is not that bad. Oh, God, everyone wishes me happy birthday when I say it's not my birthday. It only makes it worse. <laughs> all right, okay, yeah, my birthday. Woo, happy birthday to me. Oh, God, love my birthday. Every it's like every day. <laughs> oh, God. Oh no, okay, we don't have any more granite. We have to go in for some more granite here. Um, hmm. Me thinks... Yeah, deconstruct this granite tile, man. You need the granite more than anything. Granted that you need the granite. Yeah. Yes, it's my birth year. <laughs> valid, valid. Oh my god. We go back here, then we have him deconstruct the rest of these. Okay, cool. That's inside of his allowed area. Ancient locker bank. How shy I am. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, th thank you, I guess. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you very much for the other $5. $10 on not even a birthday. What a way. What a sad day. For someone. It's someone else's birthday, though, today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god smooth brain antics are acceptable tile man will preserve and birthday will continue unabated <laughs> just force me to act like it's my birthday oh brian thank you very much for the 20 dollars i do appreciate it i hope you've been enjoying the content group of wasters from trash slickers have arrived nearby they will prepare for a while then attack Okay, so this is just, again, one guy. It's like a gray man. Oh, he is rather close, though. Hmm. Low expectations. Firefighting. Ascetic psychopath. Oh, no. Ooh, this is a nimble person. How good are you at melee combat? This is actually very, very dangerous. I may need to completely seal myself into my house. This person has a wooden foot, though. Okay, they're moving at only 90% speed. This person is also very good. I will certainly die if I uh, go through this combat. I'm going to destroy the door. Uh, I will dismantle the door and then wake back up and rebuild the door because this guy is going is definitely going to dodge our traps it is not okay uh and we will die if he is able to get through so i'm going to completely seal myself in my house uh no do not play horseshoes this is not the appropriate time to do that um we'll go ahead and yeah like here we go haul the sandstone blocks yeah work on the granite floor there we go. Okay, cool. Get inside. No. Go over there. Go over there. Construct the construct the wall and then construct that wall. There we go. Now you are sealed within your home. We have a transport pod crash that there's no chance of ever getting to. Yeah, just stay inside, Tile Man. He's probably going to destroy my entire home, but like it's better than a nimble man getting through my traps because he will wreck everything if he gets in. Yeah, I mean, maybe you don't have any air in here. He's going to set fire to everything, but oh well. Just, oh well. Oh my god, one cooler guy. Back with the 13370 Australian. Look, it's Tile Man's birthday. Happy birthday. Oh god, Jesus. Stop, please stop wishing Tile Man happy birthday. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's Tile Man's birthday. Oh god, I'm losing everything. This is just kind of what you have to live with in this challenge, though. It is too bad. Thank you very much. You've honestly... Like, is there anything you want to see for, like... 
I have to get back to you on this because you have been like extremely generous to me. I do appreciate it. The horrors of the rim can't get me from my holy squares. That the fools can't see them is their own problem. Only I need to know the truth after all. Maybe he could have like his own narrative tile man, you know? Like maybe he's the chosen one. He has a lot of um uh, what's the word for those things? Midichlorians. Yes. Tileman was born with a, a great surplus of midichlorians in his bloodstream. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, God, no. Now, why did you change the wiki to say that my birthday is today? <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to have to unchange that. <laughs> I hate having to edit my own wiki. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you very much, one cooler guy. That's really, like, extremely generous, and I've done nothing to deserve that. Um, but yeah, like, I do hope you've been enjoying the videos. I have to get back to you on that. Honestly, like, if you think of some idea or something like that for, like, a special stream. Also, William for the $2 and Catwug for the $5. It's not my birthday. <laughs> There's no day of birth at all canon now it's i guess it's the deep lore canon okay fair fine <laughs> canonical birthday aa okay cool we get some more food <laughs> i was just trying to survive as a tile man <laughs> how dare you aa ah beautiful beautiful okay there we go granite granite Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so soon I will be safe from the invaders. I hate it when people come into my... I like having my home sweet home area, you know? 550 tiles now. How much do we have unlocked? Area zone. Zone, clear the allowed area of unlocked tiles. 550. So we have 423. We can unlock 125 tiles. Okay, nice. So let's start to just unlock great swaths of them. Uh, 125 tiles, that's basically this little area right here. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, 9, 10, 24. Oh god, what is that? 25. 30. 33, 34, 35. 37. Mm, 47. 51. 71, 73, 75, 85, 95, 103, 104, 105, 115. Wow, that's really not that many tiles. Um, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125. It looks like I didn't really give myself that full gap there to work in, but whatever. Cool. Hmm. Have some good ideas for RimWorld. How can I send them to you? No, just send them to me in an email. A lot of them I probably can't really get to, just because of, like, realistic schedules. But, yeah, like, if I hear something that I really want to do, then, like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, feel free to send it. 35 plus 7. Did I accidentally count? Let's see if I... Uh, how dare you, uh, how dare you question my math. My math in counting. 553. See, we have... 554 tiles. I'm totally right. Totally, I was right. Uh, unless if I just unlocked them right there. <laughs> I don't know. I need an instant replay. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, stone walls are really going to save us right here. Because just all invaders are going to set traps. Once again, the reason why I had to do this, I learned the hard way the last time I tried this challenge. I had a raider come in with nimble. And they basically just, like, fly over all of your traps. And they're fine. So... Like, it's very annoying because your, tr like, kill box doesn't work at all. So you basically just need to seal yourself in and accept whatever they do to your base. Uh, it is not, it is not very good at all. Here we go. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. Deconstruct, deconstruct. Cool. 
that should hopefully, hopefully be enough for the rest of the granite that we require. And granite is honestly a pretty good material for the rest of our solar flares. Meaningless eclipse is basically meaningless. Uh, toxin clearance. Uh, we don't really want toxic waste packs dropped. Fat body gene pack. What is that? To make yourself fat? We can't really use this, can we? Yeah, we don't have a gene bank. The hyperweave is pretty cool, but it's slightly unnecessary. Yeah, I don't think it's really worth it for the toxic waste packs. Sadly, sadly. Yep, I'm gonna build, <laughs> I'm gonna build a wall. Building a wall. I will be the one paying for it. Um, let's go back over here to... Cool, okay, so now he has all the rest of the granite that he needs. Okay, cool, he's laying it all out, although he won't be able to get to the last few. He's got about 597, so he's got another, like, 40 tiles or so. To... Has he really got that much more experience? Wow, 597 tiles. Zone. Hmm... Clear allowed area. 597, 553. Yeah, we got like another 44 tiles to unlock. I feel like he's kind of accelerating as he gets better at everything. 1, 2, 8, 10 mm, visitors. Let's just make life better in here now. Life will be made better. 10. Ah, what do I want next? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe more stone. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hmm. Eh. What did I say? 18, 28, 30. Hmm. 32. Hmm. 35. Then. 36, and let's start making our way over to those components. 36, uh, 40. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, we had 40 to unlock. Never mind. Okay, so that's about all that I can unlock. Look, now I am with table. Oh, the joys of being with table. Beautiful. I need a door in the back before I finish the wall. Oh, thank you. I did forget about that. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and rebuild that door. Um, where were we going to put that? Let's put that, maybe like right here, that way he can walk over it. Yeah, and it shouldn't be too much trouble for him. So deconstruct that wall, or really just build another wooden door over there. And there's not really any danger of raiders getting to that one. Yeah, there we go, cool. We just want all of our home behind a wall. Much safer that way, much safer. Oh, yeah, Paul might, uh, or who is it? For the trader might have components, although they are not really in my allowed tile area. Okay, let's go ahead and check. Uh, wait, I've gone outside of my allowed tiles. Hang on a second, I need to come back. You must meet me in my tiles for this to be legal. Either that or I'm going to need to... Okay, I have 600 tiles unlocked. What am I at now? Zone. Expand allowed area, unlock tiles. Go ahead, clear. I have 600, I have 500, because I can unlock seven now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stay right there while I talk to you. Oh, please stop leaving, there we go. All right, fine, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any money, so I can't, I can't afford anything and I don't have anything that they want. It's okay, I've got more of them. I, I'll be able to get more components sooner or later. Ah, the joys of the table. Oh, look, you've enjoyed my table. Why don't you pay me for it by giving me some components? Wouldn't it be nice if people paid for things that they used? Then we wouldn't have to have this capitalism, man. You know? Simple yet fascinating piece of furniture, yes. Behold, the majestic table, invented in 1986, after the swing set. 
after people realized that they needed to be swinging in tandem, it would be useful to have a place to put things on top of. No one had ever conce uh, concepted such an idea before. The smartphone, uh, the bidet, the great inventions of the 20th century. After that was the table from the French. Table. Amazing, isn't it? It is. That is a fact. Wow, we've unlocked another 20 tiles. He's just kind of rolling with this tile unlocking now. I guess we should unlock the tiles that are, like, in our base. Six, seven, ah, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. Cool. Woo. Tableau. From the, fe the French tableau. Sorry, I don't speak any French. I, I, I apologize for being ignorant. I don't feel like that's a very good apology, though. Sorry, French people. Um, you can work on the door now. Look at all of this amazing wood you've acquired now, Tile Man. Does he have any other stone blocks that he needs? No, I think we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and then make our doors of something that is a door material. I'm thinking if we deconstruct these three only because of the fear of people setting fire to these somehow, God knows how they'll figure out how to do it. Uh, and we should also probably make this from granite too, although I think that's going to be too expensive, so we'll hold off on that. Um, if we were to, 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 God, look, he has such a great day. He goes outside into his backyard. He's like a landowner now. Welcome to my land. I have been tilling the soil. I don't know why I'm speaking like Morgan Freeman now. When I first met Andy Dufresne, he was living in a tile in Shawshank. Take those apart, too. You know, you need a bigger house, Tile Man. It's time to upgrade your lodgings. The true horror of, yes, the 1984 tragic incident uh, when President uh, Nixon ate without a table. <laughs> Which caused the Watergate scandal. <laughs> no, who was it in 1984? Was it Reagan? Or Carter? I want to say Reagan. Was it Reagan? Who was president in 1984? Yes, when... And I will just say that it's Nixon for the sake of argument. Nixon ate without a table, causing the Watergate scandal. And the rest is naturally history. Hmm. Make any stone blocks from... Let's just do it forever and ever. Forever and ever. There we go. All right, we will build another granite wall or three over here. Good, good. Nice! He has a real home now. This actually is starting to look kind of cozy. Um, I'm thinking quest expires in 24 hours. It doesn't seem like the temperature is a real threat to us anymore. I can keep this door open. Um, what other th things should be said of Tile Man and all of his adventures. Let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll build one more granite wall just because it's kind of giving me a little bit of like, yeah, there we go. I was a little obsessive compulsive about that. Um, ooh, nice. He's actually getting some uh, limestone out. But let's also tell him to just work with stuff that is nearby. And we'll basically just haul everything nearby that we want hauled. Um, slate, we aren't really working with, though the limestone might be useful here. Yeah, haul that over. Cool. So now he's getting this stuff done. We might even put up a torch outside. Although I think now we basically make a run for electricity at this point in time. Um, he's got the food. He's got like a nice eight meal stockpile underneath him. He's got plenty of stone. He's got plenty of stone. He's pretty well defended from raiders. Uh, I sh Ooh, I also do need a door over here. I just realized so that I can take that out. Actually, I don't really need it. I could leave that for now. Um, mm, yes, the dinosaurs were indeed wiped out because they ate without a table. 
the dinosaurs, the Bermuda Triangle, all of these things can be traced back to various incidents of organisms eating without a table, causing them to go insane. Scientists have tried to discover why. Why have tables been responsible for so much suffering over the years? I have 661 tiles unlocked. 662. Um, let's go ahead and just check what we're at again. We are at... 620, so we've got another 40 tiles or so that we can unlock. So let's go ahead and expand the area again. Um, I think we can just basically gun it for the components. So 40, that gets us that far, and then we need to make our way a little bit further south if we want to get to those components over over there. Um, I guess we'll leave those berry bushes over there. Let's go ahead and also just say stop cleaning over here. This is not your home, tile man. Nope, not home. Definitely not home over here. Though I guess we could bring the butcher spot back to, um... Yeah, let's bring the butcher spot back here. That is going to be butcher creatures forever. Cool. Uh, and have you unlocked those tiles? Cool, he has unlocked that whole area. Nice! Alright, so he's doing research, he's gaining more experience, and then he's getting ready to make his way down south to the components. After this, I guess that we'll build a wind turbine in here. Basically keeps trees from growing in here. We'll leave the horseshoe pin over there, and we can kind of build it like this away. And then... And then what? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, one tile at a time. I do like the kind of step-by-step -step nature of this challenge. Isn't that nice? Get sad and start... I get sad and start wandering basically every day. Hmm. Wind turbine. I ain't buying. I, I'm sorry. I know you dislike wind turbines, but I need them in my life. There's just something about them to me that says, like, it's the future, man. Welcome. Welcome to the future. Welcome, Squidward. Everything is chrome. Okay, I think I have another 30 tiles now. So, yeah, I mean, it's tricky to count, but I'm just going to do, like, a kind of a shorthand for it. Okay, so 12 and 18, that gets me up to 30, and we are just, like, maybe 15 tiles north of these components here. These here components. So we'll make our way into the wall and then see what that gets us. Either one or two components. Hopefully there will be more, because generally they do spawn in clusters. Um, hmm, fending off raiders. I think our your boy is pretty much safe here. He has like his own little compound. I love that when you get your own, like a safe zone in RimWorld. Hmm. Thailand would capture people and educate them against their will just to use their experience to go to Walmart or whatever this guy would do with freedom. Hmm. He does seem like kind of a Walmart visitor to me. You're right. Yeah, I don't think that he's ever been into, like, a Target. Where would Thailand... If he could shop, that is to say, where would he go? I think he would be looking for sweet deals at Walmart. Nikki's signal has been lost, and she can... Well, screw Nikki. She can die in a fire. Um, sorry, I mean, just... Why should we die? Um, hmm. I think we could do another wooden shelf over here. Why am I being so aggressive toward NPCs that don't exist? Uh, hmm... Me thinks shelving over here and here. And then we build another room so that we can just put all of the crap in there and then we make his bedroom actually nice to live in. Ooh, it's going to be nice to live in. Let's go ahead and put in our structures. Let's do limestone walls. I think if we put the limestone like here... And then we do this. Cool. Okay, actually, things are starting to kind of come together now. Uh, how much... Ooh, yeah, it's basically like he's not even limited to his tiles anymore, just considering how much he's unlocked. 725. Um, I definitely have enough to unlock these. I'm just going to unlock a little bit more. 
Uh, we'll unlock the healed route too. And then I think we have enough for this now. So that's 15. Let me just count. If he doesn't get it by then, he'll have unlocked it by the time he gets there. Unlocked tiles. This is a total of 713 tiles, and we have unlocked 728. So we have another 15 to unlock. Awesome. Um, I think we can go ahead and... Could move in the research bench room. Ooh, you know the berry bush enclosure wasn't really super smart of me, but whatever. I guess we'll just cut that down after we harvest it. I could leave it as an outdoor room, just to keep this as a separate... Nah, I don't really want stuff deteriorating. One on the shelves. Ah, still, I just like it as an indoor room. Hmm. Tile Man the first died. This is Tile Man the second. Uh, after all, the is like the second coming of... Uh, I don't know. Everything comes better in twos, right? As they say. Everything comes better in twos. <laughs> they don't say that, do they? But, well, I said it. And it, it it's true. Everything is better in twos. Two eyes, two ears, a, one nose. With two nostrils, you know, two legs, two arms. Better in twos. Would he... Actually, yeah, that is valid. Maybe Tile Man would shop at Ikea instead. Hmm. So now he's 742. I really want to unlock his entire... Gerenlin's totally worthless. Do not waste your time on the Gerenlin pod. Um, cool. So he does have another one of these component tiles unlocked. He's going to kind of slow down here into the night, though. So I think... How is your mood tile, man? He is going to be exhausted by the time he gets to the end of this. Nope, just go home, tile man. Don't worry about that. Maybe do it tomorrow. Just because I don't want you to be, like, extremely upset. He will, like, keep mining that until he goes insane and loses his mind. Hmm. 746. Oh, and he's getting shooting experience right now, too. So, 746, and he's got... 713. So we have another 30 tiles to unlock. Hooray! Okay, let's go. Um, we'll do... Uh, 736. So we've got, um, what, like another 30? 12, 13, 16, 20. Ah. 24, 27, 28, 29, 30. Basically ignoring every single quest because we just can't leave our home. The only one we may take is forced weather, but even that is kind of bizarre. Oh, a mad doe. Oh, God. Fortunately, it will hit those visitors before it hits us. Uh, I will nonetheless go home. Yeah, go home. Come on, mad doe. Attack those people instead of me. Good. Shoot that thing. Disgusting monster. It's awful. The dryad. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't care about the dryad. The two towers. Yeah, another another one. A Tolkien reference. Ooh, lovely. Hmm. Run tile, man. Ah, you are improving. I like it when he first starts off with grinding a skill, you know? Like, you can feel that palpable gain of experience. We have a Manhunter pack of something. Uh, oh god. Of Terriers. Which is really just two Terriers, unfortunately. Let's leave here and we will go home. Now we can expand the radius of Home Sweet Home. Does he have... Oh no, Tileman! Illegal! You have to go back to the tiles and walk back. Oh, wait a minute. Will he... Oh, no, will he make it back home in time? Oh, Jesus. Hang on a second. I didn't want to do something illegal. Here, stay in your allowed tile zone. He isn't even sick. I had him accidentally leave the tile area. Okay, good. He will still yet be able to outrun these terriers by a, a narrow margin. And I think the visitors will, yes, will do them in. Kill them all. Good. We're safe. Ooh. Tile man, you've done such a good job staying alive. 
I believe in Tile Man. He's so close to getting power, too. Coming further than his father ever did before him. Oh, look, and we have two components. How many components do we need for a wind turbine? I want to say it is 69. Nope, it's two. Uh, unfortunately, I was wrong. Let's go ahead and put this here. There we go. Cool. Decent spot for a wind turbine. Have we even unlocked those tiles? You've probably unlocked some of them, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. We've unlocked those tiles. Um, let's go and have him do the rest of that. So we will deconstruct the rest of this. Let's just say deconstruct all of this steel because we basically lucked out. The one thing we had in our spawn was a lot of steel in kind of a strange way. Yes, a wind turbine. You can wear it. <laughs> I mean, the dry. I mean, Garenlin pod sprouts. Are they useful? The answer is an objective no. Unless you have some colonist who's just utterly useless and is better off tending to crops. But I don't personally like them that much. Maybe in really specific circumstances. I think we did it in the pacifist run, I want to say. It did work for that, I suppose. That's true. Good. Okay, so now we're storing the rice as rice and not meals for the most part. That's decent. Um, cool. Is he going out and getting the components? While it's safe, Tile Man, go, go bring back the components. Bring them back. You'll need more of them for our next project um, next time. Hey, it's Hazor. What's up, YouTuber friend Hazor? Actually, people were just requesting you. People really like your RimWorld stuff, man. How are you doing, brother? I'm gonna ask if I have a mod for the tiles because... Uh, nope, I'm just using an area. I'm just using a loud area. Actually, you might get a lot out of this. Everybody say hi to YouTuber friend Hazor. Hey, Hazor. It's gonna ask if I have a mod for the tiles. Uh, the one thing that somebody made from the One Hunch Man playthrough, which is the one I'm basing this off of, um, you should go check out his playthrough, by the way, is uh, 765 tiles unlocked. This is the Colony XP tab, which just makes it a little bit easier. So you don't have to do all of the math to see how much experience your colonist has. It just kind of aggregates it all there in one, which makes it a lot easier and more manageable to do. Um, otherwise, I feel like it's pretty prime ground. I don't know how to make a mod for this, but if somebody did, I feel like that this type of mod would actually be really cool and popular. So, like, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If any of you guys are modders and have a RimWorld idea, like, I would be all over this if you made a mod for this. Um, and yeah, like, it did the stuff. Granted that I, I've already got a bunch of Tile Man videos I've already made, so I'm like, cool, maybe I'll come back and revisit it at some point. But, yeah, I don't know. I think somebody, yeah, actually there was a guy who did that for PZ after we did the Tile Man run where we just put rags down like Arian did. And it was really cool to see a mod come to life from it. Now a lot of people have used it and it's just... I love working with modders. It just warms my heart in so many ways. I used to kind of, actually I used to mod for Project Zomboid. Or I used to make maps. I never really published them because it's a really huge task to do it. So I have so much respect for those people, but yeah. Um, I don't know, I miss doing that stuff. And yes, already planning to steal this concept. Good, good. I mean, it basically has been repurposed from like 20 different people. So feel free, go ahead. Tons of people have been doing This is a very popular challenge. Very fun, very YouTubeable. Your birthday is in two weeks. Oh god, they keep telling they keep telling me it's my birthday. I feel so isolated. <laughs> now that I have you here, please tell them that it's not my birthday. No, my birthday is My birthday is December twenty third. I'm a Christmas Christmas baby. So that would always kind of screw me over. I would get like one thing. It was very exciting to have both things come at once. Seven seventy five, but it was also like I don't know, it felt like when people were celebrating Jesus, they were celebrating me. I was like, oh, awesome, like, everybody's happy because it's my birthday. Not really, but yeah, you can live in your fantasy land. We've got 30 more tiles that we can unlock now. So we've got 743 unlocked, so that's 742, I suppose. Um, I kind of sound like Rain Man for this whole playthrough, like, how many toothpicks are there left, AA? I'm not sure, this just vaguely looks like 30, and now I'm just going to go ahead and do it. No tile, man. Don't do that. <laughs> you will die down there. 
<laughs> it's too dark. He keeps wanting to do it. Oh god. Oh god, no, Hazor just egging them on. How dare you, Hazor? How dare you? Make my community send me more birthday wishes. Oh god. Good, good tile man. Why do I feel like Palpatine whenever I say that? Good, good Anakin. Give in to your anger. Good tile man, give in to the uh, mood break. Uh, stop doing that though, tile man. Why are you, God, why are you so stupid, tile man? Yeah, maybe he responds to like negative feedback. Oh no, it's outside of the allowed area. Oh, damn it. Um, I'm sure we have enough experience now, though. That's the one thing about this. I would love it if someone made a mod where you could just figure out how many tiles are in an area really fast. Or just have that on the side, like a little marker. 763, we've got 780, so we can unlock another 17 now. Awesome. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Nice. Good job, tile man. Just be your weird self over there by the fire again. But yeah, I think it's a good idea. Hey, it's Rar. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Thank you for the birthday wishes. Rar, I feel like this is a concept that you would have fun with. Although you've been doing that. Man, I want to get back into They Are Billions. I feel like everybody's been having this They Are Billions renaissance now. And it's just making me pretty glad. I've just been feeling such an urge to play a lot of the games that, like, I don't know. I'd played a lot more in prior years. I just want to come back to them. Zomboid, Rimworld. These are good games, guys. Good games, these are. Do you like them? Also, congrats on 100k, or Very much well-deserved. And to infinity and beyond, I say. Now you will take me down and destroy me. Now I really am having kind of a Palpatine moment here. Do it. Also, Foulmouthed Chick, thank you very much for the channel membership. Hmm. Ooh, the hum of the uh, wind turbine has begun. Mm, I think if we now end our alliance on the technologies preceding the Industrial Revolution, I think we can get some more stuff done here. Wow, very, very good. Very nice job, Tileman. Now I want to get you some sort of, like, ranged combat. It's so satisfying. It's like rediscovering technology all over again to play this. Hmm. Uh, Caroline the Sad. Honestly, a great name. I've been chased from home by her vengeful ex-lover. Honestly, sounds realistic. No, I accept no one else in my colony. I am a hermit. Not a hermit crab. But I could be. Hmm. Oh, you guys did a... Z oh, yeah, I missed that multiplayer. It's been hectic in my own life. I'm like pretty excited. I'm pretty. Pl I gotta say, like having editors around has just made everything a lot more simple. And like you haven't seen it right now, but this is kind of like back in June of 2021. I put together all of this content that was like segmented stuff, and it actually really paid off. Like I was really happy with the result because I could just kind of chill and like focus on making stuff that really lasted a long time and was more like artistically what I wanted to do. I feel like I'm kind of getting to that now again. Wait a second. Do not. All right, fine. Mine for a little while. Although I won't be happy with it. We should remove the rock roof over here also. Remove this roof. The roof must be removed. There we go. Now he's mining faster. He's a fast miner. Ah, uh, taste the mega rainbow. You're my favorite. Thank you very much. Which mod is it for drag building a wall diagonally? Uh, is it minify everything? I don't actually have minify everything on in this. Minify everything would be an acceptable mod to play with, only because Pete compete complete. I almost said Pete compete. <laughs> 
Pete Complete plays with uh, that mod. And everything that Pete Complete plays is legal and allowed because he is always right. I like Pete. I like him a lot. And yeah. I think he, I saw him play with that mod once, though. But he is very, like, vanilla e in RimWorld. Or at least in a lot of his, like, bigger playthroughs. I've heard of the free Steam game, Endless Sky. I feel like a universe takeover video. Uh, I've not heard of it. Actually, what was the other one I had? There's a couple things on my list. Right now, I've been checking out Necess, like I said. One thing at a time. If I have too many games, then I start to just get confused. So I like to do one at a time. I am confusion. Hmm. It is time for more floor. It is Wednesday. Actually, it is unfortunately not Wednesday, my dudes. It is Sunday. Components are being hauled to the shelf. Uh, okay, I think it's time to get the last of the steel and end the consequences of the Industrial Revolution in our society. Uh, I must now... Hmm... His PvP side channel. <laughs> mm. If we were to go to... Check this. 779 tiles because we have one extra. So 779 and we have 806. So that gives us about another 27 tiles to unlockify. We can go over to... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Wow, that like perfectly unlocked. That is nice. Although I have to cut down that other tree because it's not really giving us any power here. And we'll have to get more steel as well. Um, but that is essentially all of the tiles that I can unlock here. Zomboid binge lately. Now that's over it. We got another game. Yeah, it is fun. Like, honestly, it is fun to hyper, like, hyper binge a, day, a game. Or oh, hyper focus. Yeah. I, l I like that, though. Getting involved in one game. But it's not always, like, Zomboid or RimWorld or stuff like that. Kind of just, like, touching on that topic from before. One thing I've found, just, like... Now I guess I've been on YouTube full-time for three years gaming. Which it is kind of funny how your relationship evolves with gaming. It's like, it kind of turns into your job to play one game. I've been happy that I've gotten to do a bunch of other different types of things too. But I still find that I like digging in with one game and really just enjoying it. So that's what I've been doing a lot. And anyway, it's going to mean like some irregularity for a little while. But after this, I think... um I think we'll be back to more, like, consistent stuff. Like, for example, I have three videos done right now. I've never been in that position before in my entire life where I'm three videos ahead. <laughs> like, there's not just a bunch of random stuff to make. And honestly, it feels great. It feels great. Because then I can just kind of focus on doing stuff I like. And then it just kind of gets released whenever I feel like it should. Ooh, lamp time, lamp time. Everyone loves lamp time. Uh, I will leave the campfire there for both temperature and for... Ooh. Now we can let him do his research. I sound like Jiraiya when I talk about research. I'm doing research. Um, oh, that's outside the allowed area. Oh, well. Okay, that is acceptable. All right, he has plenty of steel now to make all of his dreams come true. I might even deconstruct this steel table and just, yeah, let's replace that with wood. There's not really much point here of doing this. If it can be my birthday, who says it can't be Wednesday? <laughs> is that like one of those Reddit, everyone on Reddit is like seven feet tall and a billionaire, right? <laughs> Let's just start making everything up. Yeah, all right. I think that's fair. It's my birthday. Objectively. Hmm. Ah, like the, su like the simple pleasure of being inside and hearing the pitter-patter of the raindrops 
whilst I do my research, thumbing through papers and lost tomes from yesteryear to complete the research and become a more enlightened, better man and mitigate the consequences of the Industrial Revolution. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I th Ooh, and the simple pleasures of seeing the fire burn in the night whilst the rain makes it. I'm just so full of crap right now. Um, but yeah, this is nice to watch, isn't it? Ooh. Man, I almost feel like I would enjoy living in this as a YouTuber. Make some of those tiny house videos, you know? Hey, everybody, look. I built this out of my own saliva, using the saliva as glue and adhesive somehow. And I just patched together a bunch of leaves and twigs to make a house out of it. Somehow there's power from, like, geothermal. Mm-hmm. True story. Ten million views. Honestly, those videos are very, very nice to watch. Makes me want to go strike off on my own, leave everything behind, and live in a camper van somewhere. Beautiful. Hmm. Zomboy, the time that I betrayed you and left you to die. Didn't we do... I want to say that we did a multiplayer RimWorld together, too. I feel like... Multiplayer, well, multiplayer RimWorld is very much in the cards. Or like the time that we did duos in RimWorld for our... <laughs> and you insisted on building a wall. <laughs> Honestly, you do a very you do a very good job taking care of me when we play together. I haven't played with Hazor yet in multiplayer RimWorld. I'm sure. It, actually, I think it would be kind of a nice reversal of our traditional of our traditional relationship to see us attempt to like cooperate. Maybe we'll have to do a, a, a Rimworld threesome. Three <laughs> oh god, just spawn the endless array of Rim-related jokes. Uh, why have I begun this? 807. 807. 800. Okay, so I've got another 40 tiles to unlock. We can have an actual wind turbine that's doing an actual thing now. Actually? Two, three, four, five. Who am I kidding? We have plenty of tiles. We can unlock all of that. Um, wow. My life is good now. Oh my gosh. Look, we've unlocked like the whole home compound. That's like almost a thousand tiles right now. I bet it doesn't look like it. Mind. Pat massively romanticizes the prepper lifestyle. I agree. Hazor is honestly like... A little bit uh, scary to play games cooperatively with. Although I feel like that the tension he creates just adds so much narrative to the videos. I would never play without him again. <laughs> Down for... <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, bulk goods trader. This guy might actually be willing to trade us for some of our stone blocks. Quest active. Jay's rescue. Jay joins. 31 medieval... Hmm... Rimworld Mungus. Rimungus. I don't know why. It's just so cozy to be able to turn on Rimworld and play with all of y'all. Anyway, that is to say, one thing I've been kind of trying to get back to now is, like, playing, uh... Doing, like, more series on the VOD channel. But, like I said, eh, like, the, um... The winter time always gets me in the mood for it, you know? Oh, I'm in the mood now, I think. Okay, I've definitely unlocked enough tiles now to do this. I think I had like 50 the last time I checked. Good. This is a legal placement. Uh, hang on a second. I need to unlock some more tiles. That person is out of range. Whoops. Uh, okay, I can sell you my light leather. That's basically useless to me now. I can sell you... I want to keep my food. You have human meat for some reason. Uh, you have chocolate on you as well. Cloth may be useful. May be useful uh, indeed. Um, I'm getting 34 from this deal. Honestly, I'm just saying, let's get a component. No, that would have me trade away 15. And I really want to keep my steel. Uh, let's just get some steel for this. 
whatever steel this will buy me. Acceptable. Mm. Yep, there we go. Okay. I think that's just about the max tiles we had unlocked now. Without belaboring it too much. Okay, cool. Uh, you've interrupted my research. Clean the dirt and get back to research. I found that this playthrough was fun. Actually, the video on it is already done. Um, it's the one that you'll be seeing in a couple of days. But, um, yeah, one of my editors was working on it. He did, Actually, he's doing a really good job on it. Like, basically everything that he touches turns to gold. Um, and, yeah, I just find that it's fun for maybe one video, and then after that it gets to be kind of, like, a bit much for one guy. You could try it with multiple colonists, and that would make it a little bit more interesting for, like, a full series. But I'm feeling like... Yeah, I'm feeling like this is enough. You know? Simple pleasures of interacting with a herd of muffalo whistling, enjoying the ocean deep nights. Ah, uh, man, I wish they would bring back muffalo milk. Muffalo milk was so good. Muffalo, like when you had muffalo, it just felt so good in your base. I know I could use them. Maybe I'll use the mod for it. Probably the one decision in RimWorld I have disagreed with Tynan for. Hmm. He is an excellent game dev. Uh, ancient Locker Bank. Do we actually get resources when we deconstruct these things? Z -z 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 uh, oh my god, that's a lot of blood. You can really trace where the emo got... E not emo, emu. <laughs> I bet he got really effed up over there, Jesus. Um, hmm. Tile Man number two. Doing his research. I'm thinking, well, we could make, like, a smelter. Have to go now, play a monkey-based board game with my GF. Have a good... Hey, hell yeah! Monkey-based board game. I hope that's... That sounds actually, like, rather fun. Uh, I want to get back into board gaming somehow. Have fun. Hey, thanks for coming out, man. Man, like, bringing me back to the rim. The old rim. Hmm. Do we have any other sources of steel? nearby I think not I think not oh wait no there is actually like some small chasm in here not really a chasm but like a, a vein sticking out of steel here we go 850 and how much do we have 870 of 888 yes this research has been causing him to just be on the grind set all day and all night let's build our way skiing down to this thing I don't know why it makes that sound effect, but it does. Um, we could, like, light our minorly way down there, but I feel like that would just use up more steel and kind of defeat the purpose of doing all of this. Let's just wait for morning to come, and then we'll go ahead and mine all of that out. I await the dawn. Yeah, there were many milking organisms on here. It's a shame that I was unable to milk them. I lacked the skill required. Yeah, I really do. I'm terrible with animals. Although animals, I feel like, is pretty useless in this game. Maybe one colonist, like a like a sheep whisperer, you know, or a turkey whisperer. He's amazing with turkeys. You've never seen anyone like him. Isn't, like, a turkey a defamatory term for... Not a... Not a def just a bad term for someone. You're a turkey. I'm not sure why. I can't remember. But I feel like if someone called me a turkey, I would be somewhat nonplussed. If only a little. First time catching a live stream. Huge fan of the content. Love would bring to the table. Hey, thank you very much, Zidian. Appreciate you. Muffalo milk makes for a great post work. <laughs> Aren't there, like, people out there who... <laughs> Sorry, I just got the most bizarre thought. Why is my brain built this way? Aren't there, like, people who... <laughs> I'm talking about, like, the people who work out with growth hormone. I can't remember why this occurred to me the other day. I don't really drink a lot of dairy. Or I attempt not to because I think it's, like, too much of it is kind of inflammatory. Although my, like, ethnicity makes it easy. For... I'm very tolerant of dairy. So it's mostly okay for me. But aren't there people who, like, order breast milk online? I had heard that this was a thing. I don't know why. I guess it sounds weird. Like, am I looking for ideas? 
Um, I'm not gonna tell you what I would do for this. I just heard that once, and I thought it was really bizarre. <laughs> like, why would that occur to someone? <laughs> I don't know why, but I can't get it out of my head now when I think about it. <laughs> oh god, what is it? I'm going straight to hell. <laughs> oh god. Your dad would call you a turkey when he disapproved of your behavior. Was that just you, though, or was that everybody? Thank you for the happy birthday, which is snap a snap. Get in contact with a bre primo breast milk supplier. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I don't know what it was. I mean, like, there are there is such a thing as, like, a sperm bank. And it's not like it, it gains interest. Like, uh, you've got a 3% APR on your sperm. <laughs> No, nah, like, a totally different thing. Totally different thing. But, it is an interesting concept. You've got to admit that somewhere out there, someone out there was wacky enough to come up with it. Just ignore me. Although there was the Milk Humans mod for RimWorld. Yes, selling it online. Okay, so then it was a thing. And then there's some, like, nefarious people out there. <laughs> <laughs> Although I guess some people are like very oh god muscle parasites. Although this is really this one is an acceptable illness. This one requires No cheesing it um, uh, Unfortunately, this is not the Good muscle parasites. Um, this is the very bad muscle parasites, which is well bad um, We could harvest some of this medicine now, I suppose yeah, he- I mean, he is getting medical experience from it. There is that. That's a thing. 350. He's just going to be generally more tired, but he's or, sort of like come to the end of the road here. At the- at the finale of his struggles now. 400 XP in battery power. Oh, how you've made it, Tile Man. I just like watching a guy pull himself up from like... You know, basically like a... Just like a crap tier existence, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, we will put in a battery into the storage room. A decent spot for a battery. We could sort of shelter it in there. We don't want it to blow up, but... Especially on the wood shelves. But the room is made of stone. Here, contain the electricity. Ah, the height of civilization. Actual voltage! Oh... I can turn on the lights even if there's no wind. Ooh. See, to me, this is what this game is meant for. Oh, well, well, we also need a couple more paved tile floors. I think that's in order. Let's go ahead and make a couple of those. Let's just get everything nice and crisp the way that I want it. You know, yeah, that's good. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, that's good stuff. That's the stuff right there. Yeah, let's, let's even get like a path leading up to our other area. Ooh, yeah, that's the stuff. Ooh, yeah, too wide pathway, even though that it's just me. Just so that I can be luxuriantly comfortable here. Ooh, yeah, that's the stuff I've been looking for. Hmm. 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 All right, I'm turning into a massive creeper now. Uh, but it does make me feel good to see that happen. Generally, it is satisfying. Mmm, I like that. Ooh, listen to that. Mmm, that's like ASMR. Mmm. Uh, ah, the joy of, yes, the joy of localized energy resources. Pewing out power. Electrical energies. Mmm. It's basically magic. Ooh, yeah, pew it out. So at this point in the playthrough, I basically see ya boy as being safe. Unless if he's stricken with some sort of horrible disease, which eventually if we played through enough, he would be. But like, I don't know, I just like starting off playthroughs that are, that seem like they would be satisfying for me to play as a viewer, you know what I mean? Yeah, you do. Um, hopefully you do. Uh, okay, unfortunately we can't build more roof area, but he is getting to be a better miner now. He has a minor pa- he has a minor passion for mining. Uh, oh my gosh, such an opportunity at puns. Mm, he is kind of diseased, but he's like, he's entering retirement now, you know? He's made it. 
your boy done made it. Like he he went where no other miner went before. Where his father failed. He leapt where his father failed. Um, he unfortunately has food poisoning now and massive muscle disease, so he's just going to be extremely slow for the next few days, and he's going to botch everything. So, I, I wish I could leave him on like a better note than that. But how many tiles did he unlock? Ah, uh, he almost has a thousand tiles. I kind of want to see him through to that. I want to say that in the challenge I filmed, because it's now I actually finished it already. I'm just kind of coming back and playing it for fun. You'll be seeing it in a few weeks. Um, but. Yeah, I think I got to like 1,500 or 2,000 tiles. It starts to just become kind of this irrelevant thing. Hmm. Okay, does he have enough room for a wall? He could build a wall. I guess it was kind of silly to build the wiring over here. It's the one kind of drawback to this whole challenge. Hmm. Eh, let's see if we can unlock the rest of the area. I feel like that would be a nice spiritual conclusion um what do we even have already we have 980 tiles so we have 870 so we can unlock another 90. i definitely don't have enough to unlock the whole rest of this area but let's see what we can get to um 16 20 35 47 56 60. Oh, God. That sounded bad. Uh, 60, 65, uh, 75, 80, 85, and 91. Okay, good enough. Cool. So he has basically this entire compound. And, like, I mean, ignore the sick man with, like, the giant pile of vomit right next to him. Like, he'll be fine eventually if he manages to somehow eat the food that he's supposed to be eating. Don't give up on that. Um, yeah, this doesn't really get better for a long time. Like, this is just going to kind of stay with him for a while. How much medical experience does he get from that? 350 up to 4. Eh, that's pretty terrible. And he needs rescue. <laughs> like, what a spiritually fitting way to... Oh, no, he just has so much recovery need. I guess we'll watch him get back up. Get yourself back up, Tile Man. We've all learned a valuable lesson today. Oh god, you don't have any food, Tile Man! <laughs> He's recovering from food poisoning. This is why. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. Now, this does sometimes happen. He had such bad food poisoning. Okay, yeah, there. He's fine. Yeah, see, he's fine. Why do we fall? So we can learn to... Oh, he has fibrous mechanites also. I didn't know that you could have those two conditions at once. This is the one that I was hoping he would have. He's going to be in severe pain. I'm afraid you're going to have a horrible rest of your life. Tile man, you're going to just be in insane amounts of pain. Um, uh, intense pain. He will have intense pain for the rest of his life. Oh god, why? At least he's slightly faster now than he was before because of his second disease, which happens to be like a double-edged sword. Um, yeah. He needs some milk. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna go online, order him some human milk, I suppose. Or maybe some of that good muffalo milk. I'm trying to think. Anyway, I basically, I guess I've accomplished all my goals here. I wanted to, like, get power going. I wanted to get farms. I wanted to get defenses going. I pretty much have all that. I feel like, yeah, you could go through and build the rest of the colony, but I feel like just one man, it's not really worth it, because I feel like at this point, he's basically done everything that he is kind of required from him. I mean, there's some other silly stuff he could do, but... Yeah, anyway, I wanted to kind of preview that because I feel like, uh, sometimes when I do the videos, I feel like people are wondering what, like, the whole playthrough looked like. And yeah, I don't know, I haven't been on YouTube in a while and I wanted to just, like, do something fun, hang out with you guys, like, outside of, uh, Twitch and the VOD channel. But I will remind you, uh, yeah, if you are still watching and listening, I do normal streams, uh, if it's, like, kind of clubhouse, just hanging out to Twitch more often. Um, but then I kind of come back every once a month to YouTube. I've kind of been off it a little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to say hi again, and I'm alive, but I've, yeah, just been making a bunch of stuff in the background. But, um, 
Yeah, I don't really know what we'll do if we go any further. He'll basically continue his grind. Um, but I feel like that would be more for like a long series and we actually already did one of those. But yeah, I've done this playthrough a couple times now. Slightly gotten better at it. It is an interesting challenge. I do recommend giving it a shot because it is very fun. Um, the Tile Man challenge. I guess I'll take out one more rat. No, it's just going to wander about there in the field like a loon. You know what? Let's see. Let's have try to have a spiritually fitting conclusion. You must prevail in combat, Tile Man. 1v1. It's good karma if you win this combat. I mean, you already... Wow. He showed us, didn't he? <laughs> 69 shooting experience. He has 1600 melee experience now. All right, let's go aimlessly kill a bunch of small animals now for no particular reason. We will unlock the tiles that they inhabit. Good. I will attack this squirrel. I have not left my tiles. Just because I'm genuinely curious if you could do that for this challenge. Wow, 2400. This would be such a fast way to go through it. Do we have any other small animals nearby to just terrorize? There's a couple of rabbits over there, but they're kind of outside of our zone. Anyway, that's about all I wanted to say for today. But anyway, thanks for coming out, guys. Um, more content to come. Yeah, nice to be back. But uh, thanks for coming out to the stream. You guys know how to make everybody feel uh, really, like, happy. Oh, my God. It's Seth. I worship you, man. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. And like an absentee father, we love you all the same. I don't think anyone's ever said anything that meant more to me on my channel. Dude, you're such, like, you are such an inspiration. I love you so much. Oh my god, I'm, like, getting goosebumps right now. Guys, it is, it is God. God is in chat. Holy cow. Man, what, a, what an amazing way to end a not birthday. Oh, it's Seth. Seth, I love you. Oh my god. I feel like this is surreal. Dear God. Oh. I don't know what to do. I love Seth. So, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I just spawned Karthus uh, uh, valid after Seth's, like, what, 20 million view video on Karthus. Honestly, like... Like, one of the more underrated hits. Ah, uh, thank you for the birthday wishes. Oh my god. I have, like, so many things to say. I have so many questions, but it's like seeing the face of God. You hope my hairline stays for many months. Ah, uh, this reminds me of one of my students who would get upset about his hairline. Man, I'm actually, like, I'm actually afraid because of how much I love you. Ah, yes, the alopecia. <laughs> it does slap, as they say. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I know, I need to breathe. I love Seth more than myself. Oh my gosh, this is like as amazing as the time that Simon Honeydew... Uh, oh wait, no, maybe the time that I gave Sips a hug. I was able to hug Sips about a month ago. Uh, actually, I have a secret picture of me and Sips. That is, but yeah, but you are like a kind of an amazing inspiration to basically everyone I know. Like, I don't, I was not prepared for that at all. Have you been, well, I won't ask you questions for your disembodied self. But yes, know that I, I love you very much. I love you. Like, I, I'm actually like kind of speechless right now. I don't really know how to end this now. So I, I didn't, uh, I didn't plan on that. But I would say now, like, you boy... Your boy is basically safe. Ah, uh, I have so many. I don't. I don't want to like disturb Seth's Sethness though either. So I will just like allow it. I want it to. I want it like ended on that on that note because. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm shivering right now. Sips as it. Well, yeah, Sips is kind of dad. There is that. Happy birthday, got me. It's not my birthday. God damn it. Got me into RimWorld long ago. Yeah, maybe we'll make, like, a return to the Rim. After all of the goddamn Sims content. Although I do love the Sims. I think it kind of jumbled my audience around a bit. Honestly, I, I do like it a lot. Yeah, back to both. But yeah, now we've got people. 
Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, God bless Seth. And God bless uh, Hazor and Rar, who were also in here. Friends, friends all. Um, God, we got to go get back to the multiplayer rim world. Yeah. Hmm. Truths being slung in chat. All right. I think I'm going to leave you guys there. I can't think of a more amazing note to leave it on. Um, totally unplanned. Seth Zintach, everyone. Basically, God. Um, I don't know what I did to deserve this moment, but yeah. Um, the only thing we're missing basically right now is like one of those troop and notch cameo appearances. Speed run. I don't think I can. Anyway, I hope you all guys all have a good day. Thanks for coming out to the stream. I do appreciate you. Um, but hell yeah. Sent me an email. Oh, to my Bobby on PC email. Ah, that is fantastic. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate it. Did you, um, I have, actually, I have a couple of questions. Now I've met up with many of the other people, but I will, I will leave them and I will let them wait for now. Anyway, love you guys very much. I hope you have a good day. Um, thanks for making this an awesome comeback stream. I haven't been on in a while, but it does feel good and it feels, it feels nice to be back. Anyway, um, goodbye for now. I don't know how to end these things, so goodbye.